Hello. Um, yes. Okay. So according to this, the mic is working. Uh, it's been a while, I suppose. Let me do this as well. Probably do this at the beginning of every stream. Why? Okay, we'll do this. This should, wait, does this actually work? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Um, it has been an eternity. Wait. It has indeed been an eternity. Um. Publish this. Okay, so. This is not a topic stream for those of you who are curious. <laughs> Sorry, I might actually I might actually do those um, later because I have to. I have to do things for ICPC, um, so I might do, I might I might actually do a topic stream in regards to that, but not right now, you know. So um, yes, lightning. Yeah. Sorry, it's uh, it's a bit of a flashbang. Okay. Yeah. So stream for today is this we're going to be doing code forces like that's it um it's not going to be that interesting of a stream because like you know i'm practicing i'm not going to like talk that much um you can hear me by the way right i hope you can yeah so <clears throat> we're just gonna we're just gonna like like i've we're just gonna do what i've been doing just um i've been just going down the list of contests and solving the problems that look hard and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so. I don't know. Here we go, I guess. Um, I'm going to, I guess for the first day, I'll interact with chat a lot. But in general, like, I don't really want to do that. So in general, I'll read chat in between problems. But for now, um, this is fine. We'll, um, we'll hang out. Let me pull up the stream on my phone so I can read chat and do this. So we've looked at this one, right? Um, thinking out loud, maybe, maybe, maybe. Not like, not explicitly, cause like streaming for like hours on end is gonna be tiring. And I intend to draw this out for like 10 hours or so. Um, so I'm not going to like draw out my thought process, but maybe speaking, sure. Like the general direction I'm going. Yeah, that's fine. Um, where am I? Here. Here. Is Sophie a bot? <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> leave that up to you to decide. Ah, uh, right. I will uh, pin this. Okay, right. So if you all want to start your own problems in the meantime, because that's sort of the point of this, that we can all just sort of do this together, um, go ahead. I look at this one. Let's find a round. Which one is this? How hard are those? Um, are you thirty-two or thirty-three? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do this. All right, sure. <laughs> How many hours? A lot. Like probably eleven today. That's the plan. Cool. All right, we're gonna do this. In this problem, we will be working with rooted binary trees. Okay, I'm not gonna read this statement, sorry. Like this is working on code forces, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Rooted binary tree, if it has a fixed root and the root vertex, but has the volume? Is it quiet or fine? Is it fine? Yeah, okay. 
Sure. Working with root of binary trees, a tree is called a root of binary tree by a fixed root, and the root vertex of the most two children. So a color to each vertex. It's called a color and diverse. If every vertex has a neighbor, color and opposite color. Yes. Find the disbalance of a color in. Okay. New vertex I. The smallest value of disbalance over all possible diverse colorings. Find the last vertex with the number n. Also, print a diverse coloring. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. So first note is u. Okay, so it begins. So first node is U. So we're adding nodes dynamically. We need to be able to support this stuff. Wait, was this the acceleration one? No. Okay, this one is fine. Okay, yeah, sure. So if we can find a matching, right? Well, it doesn't have to be a matching, but. If we can like decompose the tree into chains, maybe? All right, so every leaf. Um, it matters that these are binary trees. It's not an arbitrary tree. It's a binary tree. I guess I can, for the sake of following along, I'll um, put the problem in the description. You can read it on your own. Okay. So when's the answer two? When's the answer more than two, right? Um. It's like if we have a if we have a complete binary tree, right? Then I can make the top white and then Make that child blue, make that child white, and then just have you be inverted. And then um, you'll be complements of each other, so that's fine. Like, if we could... We like partition the tree into the bipartite colored components. Like if we if we have if we draw like a line between every edge between two nodes of the same color, like here and here, then we'll have some like bipartite colored components. As long as no component is of size one, then everything's fine. If a component is of size one, then what? Suppose we have some like enormous tree, right? So 
Well, I think the answer is mostly zero or one. Binary tree has fixed root. Um, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like the, the point is just that like, it has the binary tree constraints. Feels like memorizing. Um, if you want to get better at problem solving, probably you have to spend longer. But for interviews, you maybe don't want to do that. Like, I don't know, interviews are kind of complicated. Like, you have to know all the patterns, but um, then, like, problem solving is also something you have to do. Like, in general, the solution is to spend longer on each problem and just spend time thinking about them. Well, the point of the stream is like, for me, it's to hold myself accountable. For you, it can be like to also, you know, hold yourself accountable. Like, not necessarily to, to, to watch strictly, but you can do your own problems along with this, you know? Like, have this motivation for you to do your own things. Is it okay to spend three hours? Yes, absolutely. I, I am willing to spend like, at least a day on problems. How's uni? Uh, it's pretty easy, I would say. Like, pretty straightforward. It doesn't take much time. It gives me a lot of time for myself. I enjoy it. Okay. Problem, 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 problem. Uh, I can't, <laughs> I can't let the stream get that distracting. Um, we'll, we'll do questions for a while, but after a while, I just have to settle in. I don't have affiliate on Twitch. I probably can't even get subs right now. Well, it's not designed to be useful. It's designed to be like motivational, I suppose. That that's the intent. I, I don't <laughs> I did not expect to have this many viewers actually. Um but here we are in the beginning. Okay. Also have not eaten yet, so I should probably do that. So we have like a massive tree. Like an enormous tree. Yeah, this feels kind of troll. Like, it feels like the answer should usually be zero or one. Can we prove that? If we can prove that, then this is easy.
I mean, if you're forced to be imbalanced on one side, right? And you have nothing else on the other side. Hmm. Look, we could have we could have this case extended, right? The thing is, like, if you're forced to be imbalanced on one side, then give it the other color. If you're forced to be imbalanced in multiple places, like make the colors cancel out. And that's all fine. But if you're not forced to be imbalanced, right? Like we could have a chain and then this. No, but then Yeah, like say we want to bias white. We can do this, 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 this. Yeah, okay. I, I have an idea. I believe I will claim without proof that the answer is almost always zero or one. Like, almost always zero or one. Um, without proof. We're going to write some code to verify this. Uh, let's see. Privately? Um, no, I mean, probably not. I think I think I can. I mean, I'm used to solving problems on camera. Like that's sort of my whole thing for a couple years or so. Like I've I've done so many screencasts, so it should be like fine. <clears throat> okay. Um. So we have multi tests. CNN. Oh, hey, Karani, what's up? Uh, yeah, nice. I've seen you've um, been climbing as well. That is pretty cool. Wonder which of us. Oh, you'll probably reach it first because I have a while to go before um, I actually start doing contests, but we'll see. So, actually, how do we do this in not in squared? Because if you want it in a pair, okay, yeah, that's actually a good question. How do we do this in not in squared? Should we go to mostly um Okay. Yeah, we can we can do this. Um <coughs> let's const L O stupid is equal to ten. So DFS zero. Okay, um B 
we go DP. Right now, this is I have the sub count. Um, sure, we can do that. We can absolutely do that. It has been a long time since we've done that, but yeah. Okay, right now we're doing. Okay, I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to get in the habit of explaining these problems because the point is for me to practice on my own. But right now, I'll explain what we're doing. We're doing DP. We're doing the naive thing, pretty much for this problem, where we just do DP on the coloring. And we're assuming that for every subtree, the the imbalance can be at most 10. Um, and I'm hoping this. Like, in, in a small case, the answer can be 2, maybe. But, like, I don't think the answer can get that big pretty much at all. Like, I think I'm going to hope that after n is, like, 2,000 or something, um, the, the answer is always 0 or 1, <laughs> which is... Uh, kind of dumb, but I kind of have some faith in it. Four LP zero P less than curve P plus plus. If DP, so if curve P and Um, maybe not, a, maybe not a separate video, but like if anyone, if anyone wants to like see what I'm doing for the problems, I guess after like maybe discuss them. Uh, I have a Discord in the description. You can talk to me there. If cur p and dp x t. If p plus t is less than stupid. Okay, cool. <laughs> Great. That's not supposed to happen. Um, oh, wait. Um, okay, I see. Wrong. Was it wrong? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, why are you wrong? 
Um, we need to look at this. So zero one. Oh, because we're not checking the condition. Um, that's why. Okay, this is this is all um, ridiculous. What am I even doing? <clears throat> I for <laughs> I forgot to check the 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 coloring condition, like the whole point of it. Um, Okay, well, that's fine. Um, so you need to be two. What are we doing? Um, focus. Um, right, so. Yeah, so curve zero, zero is one. No. Um. This needs to be negative. Damn. Okay, this is getting more and more stupid as we go on. I'm 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 <laughs> I'm hurting myself by calling this stupid, but whatever. Um, D is equal to T plus P if safe D and C D equals stupid one. No, it's fine. I'll keep it stupid. It's funny. Um, let's see what I want. So this balance is going to be positive, which means it's going to be P minus T. If safe D and DP V. T one. Wait, um, and transition from Kerr as well. Yeah, someone did open the door. <laughs> uh, questions in the description.
fit D is P minus T. If safe D in this Great. Okay, let's do this. Um, so it should be. Why does this not work? So if any of these are true, TPV, T plus T plus zero. What, what am I doing? This is X. That doesn't work. Um, that matters. Ten. <laughs> okay, actually, that's fine. Um, you should be 10. The rest of you are a problem, though. Okay, no, that's wrong. Why are you two? <laughs> that is wrong. Why are you wrong? Um, PXT Okay. 
I didn't remove break condition. That's true. Thank you. Okay. Um. Okay, I mean, now we can do some things. take a while but um yeah you guys believe i kind of believe <laughs> do you guys believe Do you guys believe in um, the zeros and ones? Why is it 720p? Um, I, I, good question. I think it just is. I, I don't think I ever set it to higher, actually. Whatever, it's probably better for my computer. So if I less than 100. Do this. Else. Um. I'm on two. Okay, I'll get the first sample wrong. I just want to make sure the things line up. Do you guys believe? So now we need to print the coloring, which is a pain. Print the coloring. How do we print the color? Um, we need to do the DP again, but like. That's kind of a pain, right? Like the question is, where do you come from? Okay. 
Um, Well, we only have at most two children. Which I guess makes this fine. Child V dot size of zero. Child V dot size of one, then same. Yeah. This this loop is pointless, but I don't care. Um be one. Wait, we need to like Yeah, we need to need to enforce that as well. So if C is not equal to C, this is gonna be really annoying. C is not equal to one, then we can do the same color. DPX R plus stupid and you must be one. Call X is equal to call V X R one. D call X R So
We need to like do all of this carefully. <laughs> That's so annoying. Is there, is there, is this really what we have to do? Like, can we, can we do this better somehow? Like, we'd have, like, another loop, All right? No, this is really what we have to do, isn't it? Okay. So if A is different, so if A is different, Right now we're doing this here. <clears throat> so if DP, so if you're different, right, then you're allowed to be whatever you want. zoom in one sure uh, that might throw me off but we'll see if db is t
should have done this from the beginning, that's fine. here. So if K wait a mistakes were made, sorry. Maybe it's even a one. Now we have a strive. DB is equal to DA minus VB. And we can actually do the exact same thing here. Which is redundant. Um, and we probably could have we probably could have done <laughs> we absolutely could have done this better. Um, but whatever, this is fine. KB is 1 if C is not equal to 1. So if we don't, if we're not required to color this. Okay. Cool. Um, yes, this works. Okay. equals negative 98. <laughs> okay, that's problematic. <laughs> oh, um, that's why. Okay, I guess that works. No. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's fair. Why? Zero, zero, WB. Wait, what? Oh, um... Fails in the very beginning. So it either never fails or it fails in the very beginning. Okay, why? V is zero, T is one, C is one. V is one, two. Oh, what's up, Aaron? How you doing? Nice. Um, I wonder if I should keep doing this on this channel. Probably not, I guess, but whatever. Uh, what rating? This is, I think, a 3100. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at it. Someone can feel free to tell me. So we have a binary tree of size three and it's failing. Why are we failing on a binary tree of size three? I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Um, if KB is one, Yeah, only allowed to do this if KB is one. So like you both need to be different. Oh, that's why. Um, Two hundred. Okay, sure. Wait, what am I doing? Negative LA. Okay. Piling, that's why. 
Sure. Okay, now we know the construction is working. <clears throat> sure, okay. All right. See how slow this is. Cool. Okay. So, I have no idea if this will work, but this is the idea. <laughs> Should we submit? Shall we submit? Scene to end. All right, so this works. This is fine. Um, found is one. Try that. If not, try negative that. Print call. Check that the answer works. Assert, you're fine. We all pause. Yeah, check that. Cool. Find ants, DFS zero. Ants is stupid. This is min, ants is stupid, minus i. Well, okay, I mean, I wanna, I wanna, it's good to, I should check the code first. Like I should make sure this all makes sense. Um, your 2e5, yeah. Two stupid plus one. Plus plus i doesn't matter. The compiler will make him equivalent, you know? Like the compiler is like, if plus, if plus plus r is faster here, the compiler is smart enough to change that for itself. So it doesn't actually matter. But like, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's just um, force of habit, that's how I learned it. Okay, vl cur. First two plus one, yeah. So iterate, iterate. If any of you are true, then this will be one. Otherwise, if you're the same, then we have to, then you have to be that, and this is gonna propagate that. Yeah, okay. DPVIT is correct. Yeah. So we iterate through you. If R plus one is T, one minus R is T. If you're the same, right, then you have to be one down here. Otherwise, you can be either. We do this stupidity. Um, DA is 1 minus VA. DB is DA minus DBB. If DB is T, call A is call VXR1. Yeah. So this is both different. Different same. Same. Same diff. Diff diff. Sure. Let's submit. Let's go. Let's do it. This is this is not gonna work. <laughs> this is not going to work. But um, I don't know. I kind of feel like it's true. If it, if it wrong answers on test two, like fine. But I kind of feel like it's true. You know. But I, I could just be like totally wrong on this. We could have to actually solve this intelligently. But I'm not sure. All right, let's think about if it's wrong. Um, what do we do if it's wrong? Why is it running so slowly? Time limit exceeded. Time limit exceeded. Why? Are you really that slow? Wait. Okay, that's like weird. Uh, I did it in Google Slides, the thumbnail. That is my um, weapon of choice. 
Okay, wait, tell me that makes it made no sense. This is this is a hundred and this is a hundred n. That's seven forty eight. Um, I. Oh, you could be a bunch of small cases. Will you break here? Yeah, it's gonna break here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I see, I see. Um, let's make it like 20. I think 20 is, I think 20 is big enough to, to always, I think 20 is big enough, you know? I, I kind of feel, I, I feel, I, I, I have faith. Ugh. <sighs> okay, uh, we can make stupid smaller. Make it like six. How good is tourist? Um, he solves like one or two more problems than me, which is pretty, um, pretty huge difference, I would say. Like he would have been done, but done with this one in like half the time, you know? Uh, okay. Let's make stupid five. And let's make you 20. And let's submit again. This could be wrong. I could see this being wrong, but... Is it going to TLE again? Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, it worked. Let's go. First problem done. So this is 3200, you guys said? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So the, <laughs> this is the process. Um, <laughs> normally I don't. Normally I don't guess so strongly like this, but um, whatever, 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 whatever. I mean, okay, okay. Like so. Okay, I will stream. I will stream. I will. I will act like a streamer for maybe the first two days. I'm not gonna talk this much, normally, because this is gonna tire me out like very quickly. But, like for now. Um, Basically, what we assumed is that for large enough n, the answer is always 0 or 1, specifically because it's a binary tree. Because, like, like suppose we, suppose we have, like, a, a giant balanced tree, right? Then what we could do is we could color the top node white, and then we could make the two um, opposite trees, like, mirrors of each other. Like, we can make this blue and then color this like the opposite and then make this white. Like we can make these two trees opposite each other and then it'll have balance one. And like in general, I just, I just have faith that, um, that the answer is almost always zero or one, which is, which is fine. And I guess it worked. Okay, okay. I really shouldn't talk this much because I'm gonna get tired like really early. Um, oh, this is insane. Why did I stop participating? All right. Sorry, I'm talking away from the mic. Um, why did I stop participating? Because waking up is hard. That's pretty, that's pretty much the only reason. If I could wake up at like, I mean, the contests are at like 9 a.m., which is a reasonable time to wake up. But for me, it's 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 not the best. Um. When did I start? Like 2018, end of 2018, like December. That was when I got into it. And that's been on and off since then. 
Wait, so this, I guess like the counter test for my thing doesn't exist, but I mean, this is like the worst case test. It should run in under four seconds, right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. All right, is H1 at all reasonable? I assume you're like 3,400 something. Let's not do that one. Actually, let's read it. Let's just see. See if it looks doable. If not, um, well, what are you going to be? Right, hang on. Thirty-four. So this will be like thirty-three hundred something. We could try it. Let's just read it. Let's just read it and see. Topic streams, maybe for ICPC. I might do some ICPC styled um, topic streams, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay. It's the easy version, constraints on H and W are lower. So what's the hard version? 40 versus 200. Okay. House and C is H four is all at the same height. Sure. Oh no. Okay. Maybe we, yeah, maybe we don't do this one. One configuration of windows with lights on can be transformed into another. Using parallel translation. These configurations are considered equal. Yeah, maybe we maybe we do not do this. Maybe we just like don't. <laughs> this doesn't seem fun. And it's like a thirty three hundred, so I don't have to do it. It's fine. Well, I uh, will skip it. I don't need to solve thirty three hundreds in contests. This is okay. Let's go on to the next row. Remember, this one's impossible, right? No, this, uh, I've mine solved this one. That one's not worth it. You're the Coxie around? Yeah. I'm pretty much just doing like G's and H's or like Div 1 E's. Just things that seem um, like 30, like 3000 to 3300 range. This one's 3400. Not going to do that. Okay, I should eat my food. It's been an hour. God. This may be doable.
top 10. Um, I don't think I want to. I think I'm happy with LGM. That's pretty much my final goal. Coding in the future job market. Uh, no idea. AI is weird. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I, like, I'm, I'm, I, I don't, I haven't thought that much about it. My opinion is probably not that useful, I would say. Amount of hours. Oh, I have no idea. It's not 10,000. Um, it's not 10,000, but it's been like three to four years of practice. Some number of hours a day. I don't know, 3,000 to 5,000? Like, yeah, rough, very rough guess. Me versus William Lin. Well, he's rusty, and I'm not as... I'm not as good as he was, but he's rusty. So, maybe. I have no idea. All right. I'll um, update this problem. Well, we'll do this one, sure. No, it's, it's been five years at this point. I started uh, December 2018. Yeah, 8 p.m. It, I don't know. It's like it's either like early in the morning or late at night. I guess you're like screwed either way. I am 20, 21 in four months. Ah, uh, hard work versus talent, yeah. I don't like to believe in talent. I mean, it's certainly like a thing. It's a non-zero factor, but it's really hard to tell. Like, it's really hard to, it's so hard to measure because a lot of people are like practicing suboptimally. Like they have um, problems that make it harder for them to improve so like i i have no idea i genuinely have no idea it, it's almost impossible to like measure from the data we have You don't have a single big sample, huh? That's great. Should I keep doing this on the main channel? I'm kind of considering that now. I don't know. Maybe I could. But it's also like, I'm, I'm still doing, I'm not doing competitive programming videos again, so I'm not sure. Like, I'm not, or I, I don't know. I'm probably not going to do much competitive programming stuff in the future. And I'm going to keep doing it. The question is whether I do it on the main channel or that channel I've linked in the description. Quant, uh, it pays well. That's uh, that's the only thought I have on it. It pays well. It's, yeah, it's probably worth it if you want the lucrativity. Okay, so segments are distinct. FLR be the number of ways to choose an even number of segments. So the union is exactly LR, and G be the odd. Have you hit the dead end? Keep trying, yeah. Just um, I mean, 
think of something else. Like, if, if all your thoughts are leading to dead ends, then go a different route, pretty much. Shannon would pay more, that's true. But, I don't know, it's not going to pay that much anyway. That's not really the point. It's more to just um, get myself up. Punch out to the best who wants to be intellectually challenged. I don't know. I think it will definitely challenge people. I mean, quant seems really hard. Like even, like even from my perspective. But probably CS research is more directly attuned to, like, competitive programming. But I'm not sure how hard it would actually be. Like, it'd probably be very hard. Um, it also definitely pays like a lot less for sure. That's probably why people go into quant because it's just like you can just, you know, get rich really easily and then do whatever you want for a while. Okay. So this is strange. <laughs> this problem is weird. Odd and even, huh? I guess the next Q lines contain two integers L and R. Why do you have to be ten of the ninth? Why can't you just why can't you just be nice? It doesn't matter, but it's annoying. Like, it's, just, it's just mean. There's no reason to make it ten to the ninth, they just decided to. So I mean, we're operating with a subset of segments um, on that like interval. And anything outside that interval is useless. Anything inside must go into it. So, okay, the thing about even and odd is that if we consider a spanning subset, like a subset, if we consider a subset such that every segment makes progress, like a set of disjoint segment, not disjoint, but um, like a, a set of the, the segments such that no segment contains another in the subset. So like if you go from left to left, if you go from left to right, each, each segment goes further than the previous one. Um,
Then all the other segments are like like the even and odd thing is really weird. Even odd thing is really weird. My intuition is very good, I would say. It has become very strong. Um, I mean, that last problem, I don't know what the hell happened there, but yeah. I, like, that, that wasn't just intuition. That was like proof intuition. Like, that was, I felt like if I sat down for an hour, I could probably prove that fact. That's why I, that's why I went to code it so quickly. So I felt like it was possible to prove, but I just didn't. Okay, we have to find f of one four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so fact, spanning subsets are unique. Well, yes. What are we thinking about spanning subsets? Fact, if you take a spanning subset and add segments onto it, you can't get another spanning subset. Fact, if a spanning subset has the same parity as the whole thing, has all of the relevant segments, then the answer is what? Then what? The answer is not that big. Now, if if we have the same parity, then it contributes zero, right? If we no, it's not zero. No, it is. Wait up, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Is the answer zero or one? Hang on. Wait up. <laughs> are we are we dealing with another zero or one problem? <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, here's my thinking, right? Um I, I'm gonna actually draw this out because I, I need some I need some sanity checking here. Uh, invisibility. Need my freaking drawing tablet. Now we're gonna do this by hand. We're gonna draw the trackpad. Uh, we're gonna see how bad this gets. Mm. Now let's do. We have a set of segments like this, right? And this covers L, and this covers R. And if we have like a bunch of these, right? If we take an even number of them, like it's, it's a common fact that the number of even, even sized subsets of something is the same as the number of odd. They're both two, they're both two the n minus one. Can prove it with induction and choose k whatever. Um, so if we partition the segments, <laughs> I 
I see why they don't have a big sample now. Because the answer is always 0 or 1, isn't it? The answer is always 0 or 1. Oh, hey, Dinesh. Sorry, I didn't notice you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so troll. This is so troll. If we take a spanning subset, right? Okay, no, it's not, okay. What I'm, what I'm looking for is a minimal subset, like a subset such that if any segment were removed, um, it wouldn't um, cover LR anymore. Clearly every minimal subset is unique. Clearly every subset correspond, no, that's not true. Not every subset corresponds to a minimal subset. We need some way of like classifying. <clears throat> Is it muted? It shouldn't be. This works, yeah. No, this isn't necessarily true. That's not how equivalence classes work, but. We're on the right track. Consider this. Consider what's going on here. This is tricky. I'm not exactly sure this is true. We have two segments that are identical, right? Maybe just uh, segments are unique. Oh, that matters. Um, that matters a lot. Supposing segments are distinct, which they are. What does that change? So you can have this segment, and it'll be zero. You can have these two segments. Then it'll be one. So how's this work? It's got to be small. Maybe it's not zero or one, but it's small. Like the modulo is not very useful. It's sort of a troll, I would assume.
F15 minus G15. Unless some sorts of segments with union 105, yeah. Conjecturing that the answer is one zero or negative one. It's kind of kind of feels that way, but not sure. I have an idea. If a segment is useless, <clears throat> segment is useless if no subset needs it to be complete. If there's a useless segment, then every valid subset can either have it or not have it. And every invalid subset doesn't have it. So odd and even cancel out. Every odd, every even, every odd, every even. Consider this. They wanted to use this idea, but they like didn't know what to do it on, so they just put it on segments and hoped it turned out to be something interesting. Hmm, seems to be.
So if all segments are not distinct, right, then we have, then the answer can be big because um, facts, <laughs> because there are ways for it to be big. If all segments are distinct. So for the answer to be non-zero, A, there must exist a subset. What about that subset? B, there must not be a useless segment. What's the condition for a useless segment? That it's not in any minimal subset. Minimal meaning you can't remove any. And, you know, still have a valid one. What does this mean? What's going on here? What's going on in this problem? F15 minus G15. Yes. When is there? G is, F is even, yeah. So if there's exactly one subset, obviously, then yeah. Otherwise I can take a subset and replace it with another subset. I want you to be this. I want you to be this. I want you to be in. What is the condition for odd? Can we say if there are an odd number of subsets, then its parity depends on the number of segments in the range? If so, that's easy, but there's no guarantee of that. And how do we count the parity of the number of subsets?
Um, yeah, I mean, do the contests that you're trying to prepare for. If you're if IOI is hard for you, then it's probably not going to benefit you much to do that. But like, I mean, do the the past uh, regional contest stuff like that, like just stuff that's relevant to what you're trying to prepare for. One, three, four, six, two, four, three, five. Those are our seconds. How can we tell if we have an odd number of segments? number of um, subsets so So, I mean, if you have a segment that spans the whole thing, right? And if you take this segment, then you can take any other subset. If that's the only segment, that's fine. Otherwise, we just remove that segment. Then what do we do? Well, We need to like count off. Even ones. So if we have a useless segment, what does that mean? What does it mean to have a useless segment? Wait, I mean, 
things that now I'm not even gonna mess up. Um, Alright, new plan. Let's write a brute force to test the theory. Because we're going to have to do this anyway to um, stress test our solution. How do we even represent this? Zero, zero. Why? Never? Oh, you idiot. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Yes. To make like six. One, one, one. This is invalid, but I don't care. So you one or zero? Negative one. Okay. Um
your negative one. Even though there's six. Okay, so this is tricky. Um, let's do 10. One, four. This is how to solve problems, by the way. <laughs> One. Okay. So the parity isn't enough. Um, somehow this matters. I mean, it's pretty likely true that the answer is always one or negative one, just because of like canceling and stuff. So if we have, we need to, we need to, we need to figure this out then. I mean, it's pretty much a yes, no, maybe problem, something like that. And this is just has three possible answers per query, which is fine. Um, how does it work? So we have a segment, and then we have another segment. Right, but you're like, um, one, two, two, three, two, two. You should be zero, right? Yeah. You should also be zero. Because of that segment. I mean, there could just be an even number of subsets. I'd just be interested in counting the minimal ones. Like considering the lexicographically minimal um, lexicographically minimal spanning set. Right, let me go through the spanning sets. Consider the cost to cover some subsegment, right? And what we're doing is we're What do we 
doing. Taking the segments and we're running with them. Taking the segments and we're running with them. Wait, what? Wait, how does this even work? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I see. Um, okay. 21, 6. Yeah, sure. Because you're overflowing, that's why. Yeah, okay. Negative 1, 1. So you're going to alternate. Which doesn't really help, but... I agree to have a complex, complex set of segments. It's not about how many segments we have in the pile. It's about something weirder. I'm gonna be right back. Mute the mic for now.
Okay, I don't have anything for this problem, which is good. Um, that means it's hard. Let's do chat. Is math important? Absolutely. Uh, it's probably the biggest thing when you're starting off, the mathematical reasoning. Let's see. How to come up with something new? Um, <laughs> practice it, I guess. I mean, stare at the problem see what's true about it. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe, but like you just need to make some conclusions about the problem by, you know, looking at special constraints, looking at like, I mean the, like, for example, what's weird about the problem, like this FLR minus GLR thing. That means that there's probably going to be a lot of cancellation happening. So you have to look for when that happens. Stuff like that. Like a lot of it comes from the constraints, the problem and things like that. Keyboard, uh, built in, Mac, Book Pro, that's it. Do I know segment tree? No. Wait, what bracket extension? Have I always had a good sleep schedule? No, I, I don't even now. Uh, it's it's pretty um, sad. College life, it's easy. It doesn't take much time. It's nice. Setup, pretty much. I have this command on the terminal. And that's that. And then I have VS Code with a file. And that's it. Um, and I have some templates, which are linked everywhere in my code. This is on GitHub. Uh, this is not on GitHub. I can send it. Like, this is pretty much it. Like, this is my terminal setup. Oh, let me do this. Is it too long? Yeah, it's too long. Uh... <laughs> I tried my best. There. Uh, this is just VS Code, like pr with pretty much default setting. I mean, sometimes you're gonna need algorithms, yeah, but like algorithms are like tools. They're not. Um, like, the, the hard part is reducing a problem into something that you know how to do. Like, for example, using a known algorithm or something. But the reduction itself, that's the thinking part. Okay. So what? <laughs> so what's going on? What is going on here? I don't have anything on this problem. Um, I mean, the only thing is that the answer is weird. So, I mean, clearly we can't count the answer. Clearly we have to find out when the answer is non-zero and then when it's one or negative one. So again, the answer is zero if we have a useless segment, not necessarily only if. What if we don't have a useless segment? I mean, we could just have an even number of subsets straight up, but like, when would that happen? We're like looking for the size of the biggest spanning subset. Or yeah, biggest. Um biggest useful subset that is. Biggest minimal subset. <laughs> I 
that that tells us everything. Okay, consider the segments. Um, starting at the beginning. Consider the smallest segment starting at the beginning. Any subset that involves that smallest segment has nothing to it. Well, no, that's not necessarily true. Any subsets that involve that smallest segment, if there are two, in the number of subsets that span this. Any subsets which span that smallest segment, of which there are at most not that many. Which there are at most not that many. What does that mean? What am I even saying? Um, come on, get it together. Uh, so we've got like. What do we what do we got? What do we got? We've got something. We have a segment here. Any subset. Consider the smallest segment touching the left endpoint. Any subsets that cover this. <laughs> Wait, oh, 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 okay. Okay, consider that we have multiple segments coming from the left. Like say we have one, one, and one, two. If we take one, two, then one, one is useless. If we take anything that's not one, two, then one, one is useless. And therefore, for any for any subset of the the segments that cover this, right, then you are useless. Which means that you can either have you or not have you. Which means that you cancel. So cancellation is good, which means that now we're only interested in this. So now we take these. Now we consider the smallest segment out. Okay, now it's kind of tricky, right? So now we're assuming we're taking you. Uh, this is this is <laughs> this is Coxie and sequence like we're counting parodies here. This is cool. Uh, you've never seen Coxie and sequence. Um, 
It's one of my favorite problems ever. By the way, this was looking for that blog. Don't mind that search history. Um, this is one, <laughs> I was looking for a specific uh, message that I starred. Just to, just to, yeah, this is one of my favorite problems ever. I would um, recommend it <sighs> to anyone almost, but yeah. Uh, just um, thinking about that because um, this is parody. This is a parody problem. This is interesting. Doing two virtuals per day. Uh, it's going to tire you out, like for sure. If, if you're able to reflect on them, learn from each contest, um, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. I, I usually don't do two, though. It's probably too tiring. <laughs> Search history. Yeah. Um, conquering a whole country just with a laptop. I have no idea. I explained it. I explained it. Um, look. Fine, I'll, I'll, um, I was looking for this blog and then this comment because this is a really good comment. Um, that's where I was going with that. Uh, quitting CP after LGM. Yeah, that is actually the plan because I don't want to do it further. I mean, this has been fun, but I have other things I want to do with my time. Yeah, this comment is actually really um, nice. <laughs> that reminds me of... Uh, no, nah, never mind. <laughs> A reference. So like, okay. We need to we need to take this thought and expand it. All right. So now we consider that we take the smallest segment. Wait, how are you, hang on. Wait, how are you not always even? And now I have that question. How are you not always even? Wait, this doesn't make sense. Wait, this contradicts my assumption. Wait, what's going on? Oh, wait. Um. So you have one odd. Oh, that's why. Because I'm... Okay. Yes, okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. Um, I'm getting confused. Okay, yes. You should all be zero. Perfect. Okay, good. Um, that being said, so we consider the smallest segment out from the left. Now, this segment must be taken in any um, useful subset. Further, none of the other segments must be taken. None of the other segments starting from L must be taken. Now, if we have any segment contained within this segment, then anything with this segment is useless. Um, 
So the answer is 0. Otherwise, we continue. And we ignore these segments. And we find the smallest such segment out. And group these together, we find the smallest such segment out. So we need a segment that starts in one of these. We find the smallest such segment out. All right. So if we have a segment that doesn't go out, then we're immediately screwed. Okay, 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 okay. I have a linear algorithm per query, so that's cool. Um, obviously, that's not good enough, but I this is progress. So we, so the strat is to go from, I can't, I'm not going to explain this, um, sorry, but <laughs> what's the point of explaining it? But I have, I, have, I have a linear algorithm, there's progress. So now we need to like make this work. My laptop needs to charge, so I need to stop wandering around. Okay. That's not the right plug. No, it is. It's just not plugged into the wall. Cool. Dominant, indeed. OK. Oh, yeah, UMD, nice. Yep, UMD is um, a thing. <laughs> what do you mean you toured UMD? Like, uh, like a high school or something? Or like, hmm, what does that entail? Yeah, nice. Uh, it's a, I don't know. It's not the most beautiful campus. It has some nice nature stuff, but the buildings are, they leave much to be desired. The, um, the CS building is nice, though. A lot of glass. Typical modern architecture. Okay, what are we doing? We have a linear algorithm. Let's make sure it actually like works. You know, by the way, this isn't actually how different from how I solve problems myself. Like I have this internal monologue and I'm like talking to myself anyway. I'm just talking a bit louder on camera. That's the only difference between this and like normal practice. So it's kind of fine. regular streams yeah that's the plan uh, that is the plan like pretty much every day except Sundays uh, where have I been yeah <laughs> villain arc is about right uh, depression arc maybe where my mind was the villain and it was trying to kill me and it didn't succeed
Okay, what are we doing? We need to make this faster. So let's make sure this works. We take the leftmost ending segment. We ignore all the rest. Once again, apply the same thing. All right. So we take the leftmost ending segment out of all of these. If you're within, then it's useless. Otherwise, anything where we take a larger one is going to have a useless segment in it. We could do this with binary lifting. Will that work? We could do it with binary lifting. Problem is mine solved. That's cool. Um, I used to use a different code. I use Notepad plus plus. Like this, pretty much the only difference is that the brackets are nicer. Like it does this for me, uh, which is cute. But other than that, like it's not that big a deal. It's really, it's really not that much of a difference. Like <laughs> the text editor really does not matter. It's just, it's just, uh, it's all like what you're comfortable with. I mean, VS Code is. Like, I didn't have no. I don't. There is like no Notepad plus plus on Mac, which is not cool. But whatever. Uh, what is this? Yeah, we don't need this. What does this mean? Oh, that's a dumb thing. Screw that problem. Okay, we're just gonna save that. Um. Okay, so we need to do some freaking coordinate compression because why not? Um, So we could actually do this online, except for the freaking coordinate compression. But do we need to do it online? Yes. Yes, we do. OK. Um, good.
Wait. Hmm. Um. Wait, this doesn't exactly work. Does it? Wait. Ah, binary lifting is a bit tricky. We still need a core compressed though, so this code isn't useless. But, okay. We need to take you. No, wait, this is fine, because it's going to be disjoint. Take you, right? No, because this matters. Um, take this. Take this. Take this. We need to consider this. Right, then we have to ignore you. because you're also part of this. Okay, not as simple as I initially thought, but still seems um, fine in general. It's a little bit of a hiccup. We really just need to like, we just need to simulate this efficiently. We're finally at the point where the 10 to the fifth constraint matters. Like it's no longer exponential time, it's linear per query, which is good. I did not do F end of code. Um, kind of bored of the like speeding through that kind of thing. Like the, the just the fast, simpler contest. And also I've heard like the problems are not the nicest. I don't know. I, not, I don't, not that interested in it, I suppose. Like I, I could just do code forces instead and it'd be more fun probably. And more helpful. Low. <laughs> okay, I don't have <laughs> Okay, maybe. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, I don't, I'm not that good at flow myself, so maybe not. Okay, I mean, so we're doing coordinate compression. Um, how does this work? So we need to take a segment and. I mean, I have the algorithm in my head. I just need to do it efficiently somehow. Take a segment. Right. Then take a segment from here.
But this is special. This is special. This is very special. There's something very special about this. New channel is in the description. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably do the rest of the streams um on that channel. Just to not pollute this one that much. For math, I have no idea. Or other Olympiads, sorry. I mean I know there's AOPS and stuff like that, but I don't know um that much about it myself. I never really got into that stuff. I'm sure there are a lot of people here who do math olympiads too can help you better though okay so pick a segment go here all right we need the minimum out from this. So this in itself is determined. This is a single RMQ. Let me take this, All right? And we need the minimum out from here, which is different from this starting point. So binary lifting doesn't necessarily work. Made the minimum out from here. But we're noting that it's the minimum, right? We're noting that it's the minimum. What does it mean that it's the minimum? We're taking the minimum here. Doing pretty well with a trackpad, by the way. <laughs> just, uh, just noting that. Okay, so this does this does this is a super set of constraints over the fact that um, there must be a, if a useless if there's a useless segment, it's automatically even or it's automatically zero. It's it's it, it 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 it's a it's a super set of those constraints, which is good. Um, for anyone messaging me on Discord, by the way, I'm not gonna check it till like later, maybe before the virtual. Just uh, just noting that because I want to focus for a bit, or for a while, I guess. Can I pin things on the second channel? I hope so. If not, it'll be kind of a pain. So this is our plan. And we need to execute it.
How's this work? There we go. Yeah, see the description for um, details. Probably explain it better than I could right now. It will be uh, regular. At least for the next three weeks or so. How do we do this efficiently? How do we do this efficiently? We need to... Question is like, uh, when's it unique? Can I say maybe have something like this, right? Can I have something like this? And then something like that. Right, and initially this would take that, but here we're going to say that this segment is bad, because taking this would make this useless. If taking that makes that useless, then there's no point in taking that. So we take this instead, we assume we don't take that. And anything we have to take has to be on this interval. So like, <sighs> yeah, it's not exactly the same as just starting here. We have some like past baggage that we have to deal with. I mean, yeah, that's obvious in the in the case. The screen's not frozen. I'm just not doing anything. I'm I'm just um thinking right now. It shouldn't be frozen. If it's frozen, that's yeah, it seems fine. Uh, what book? I don't know about many books. Okay, we have implemented coordinate compression. <laughs> that is our progress so far. Um, what do we do? What do we do? I do still have the long hair. Uh, it's a bit longer now. I'm not going to turn on face cam, but maybe maybe at the very end. But uh, not now. It is definitely longer, though. Yeah, the distinctness does matter a lot, but we were already using that. So like,
We handle all queries for a particular L simultaneously, right? Well, it can't binary lift. Can't find it left. What can we do? Again, minimal, right? So Considering this segment now, if this changes, We're basically doing this. Not n squared, not nq. That's the goal, not nq. How do we accomplish that? Vitamins, by the way. What's the time limit? Two seconds. Um, I feel like, I feel that How do I feel? How do I feel? How do I feel about this problem? So as this gets further, this will get bigger, right? Wait, this gets tighter. So this gets less tight. So that gets, what? No, it doesn't work. 
That doesn't go anywhere. I can't really like shift. Like we have to do this process. I am convinced this is correct. It just needs to be fast. Okay, can we reformulate it somehow? Can we try try something else? Try something new. Um, we're looking for. The unique set of segments such that what? Looking for the unique set of segments. We're looking for the parity. Well, we're looking for, we need a yes, no first. Why does the sample have two? Can it, can it be like more than two? Can it just, can it, can you be nice, please? <laughs> please be nice. We're looking for the unique set of segments such that, yeah. All right, this matches my um, brute force actually, so that's cool. We're looking for the unique set of segments such that this process works. And furthermore, it ends exactly at R. It's like we can do some binary lifting stuff, kind of. Kind of. I don't know what this means. What am I? What am I saying? Are you charging? One hour and a half? What? I guess OES is yeah, fine. Okay, so. Minimal. It's minimal. It's minimal. It's not any segment. It's minimal. What can we do with minimal? I mean, minimum, whatever. It's the smallest outgoing segment. So we have this interval. We have this interval, and we're hoping that there are linear such intervals. <laughs> we're hoping, we're praying. If there are linear such intervals, then everything works out. Um, If there are linear such intervals, then what? Like, what would that mean? Q 
can we show it? Right. So we have this interval. So what are the odds that it's just this one? Oh, no, it can't be just that one. It'll be constrained to that one. Like whatever this minimal one is, right? You're gonna be used to being unconstrained. Well, but like there can't be that many, right? There cannot be that many. Because like suppose you come from a different one. We have this. This is smaller. can't get anything on this. It could be n squared still, which is bad. If it's not n squared, that's okay, but it seems like it would be. Um... There are the ladders for specific ratings. I, I, I can't attest to their quality though, I have no idea. Plus 300 rated, yeah, that's fine. These go bronze. Uh, there's a site. This thing exists. Um, where it estimates the rating of each problem. Other than that, I don't know. It's It's like it's a voting system. So it's maybe not the most um, credible, but I, it's probably the best that exists. ESCO guide versus CP algorithms? Neither. I would say you solve problems and then learn what you need to learn. But I mean, for, for learning how to learn things, probably guide is more all-encompassing, so I'd, I guess go with that. Worth the, is being GM worth the trouble? What is the what is the end goal? Like what do you get out of being red? That's that's what would make it worth the trouble. Am I a nerd? Absolutely. Uh yes, cool. Let's chat for now. Okay. <laughs> Reading checks, I don't want to keep thinking about this. Alright, come on, come on. Um What are we doing? What are we doing? We're trying to prove this. We're trying to prove this is linear. Why don't we just check? 
Let's just check. Who needs to prove things? Um, okay, so we need a sig tree. Segment tree on it. I need to fix my segment tree at some point, but for now, this works. Come on, load. Ugh. Fine. Um, sig tree min t is t. What if it's not unique? Wait, what do we do if it's not unique? It's not unique, it doesn't matter, right? Wait, now how would that work? No, that would matter, wouldn't it? So we have this, we have this, we have this. Then we have this, we have this. How'd that work? So we have you, and we have you, you, or you. So we have two ways to take odd and one way to take even. For each of those, we have Two ways to take odd, and one way to take even. So we have four odd, two even, two even, one odd. Oh. <laughs> huh, okay. Two, one, six, five, right? So 12, 17, 10. 
Okay, I'm not gonna prove that, but that works. <laughs> sure, I'm not gonna prove that, but that's fine. Uh, okay, so distinct ones don't matter. I mean, non-distinct doesn't matter. Um, given that, what do we do with distinct? Given that, what do we do with distinct? So we query you, doesn't matter what the index is, but we'll take the minimum one. Actually, why don't we take the maximum one? Because that'll make life easier. If we take the maximum index, sure. This, okay, if this is smaller than this, right? We've got some like next greater element stuff going on here. I'm pretty sure this is fine. I'm pretty sure this is linear. I hope it's linear. <laughs> I am hoping it's linear. Because like, consider a segment, right? Consider a segment that you're the minimum of. If you're the minimum of here, You're the minimum on here, right? And this is uh, talking away from the computer again. If you're the minimum on here, just that segment is like this. So you have a free stuff like this. Consider some other segment that also has this one, right? need to skip that. <laughs> so I might sort of need to skip that. I don't know. I, I feel like it's linear. I just it just it just feels linear, man. Just, <laughs> just it just feels linear. <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> this is this is how I solve problems. <laughs> I should I should I should take this a bit more seriously. Um Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, come on. If you have this, and you have this, and you have this, and this segment wants this minimum, it doesn't want this one, and you need another segment back here that restricts this one. This segment wants this minimum, right? This segment also has this minimum. Then this segment will take this one, which will take this one. Will it? No, it won't. This, thing, this segment will ignore this one. Or we could have something back here that makes this take this one. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Um, map PL and P. Okay. Um,
Do we have one of the other? No. Why, why are you crying at me? Yeah. Um. Sec here. Well, we need you to. Yeah. Okay. So. Or I'll oh, I plus two minus one. I equal zero. I plus minus. If uh min i plus ninety eight. R is equal to min i. L is equal to i. R is equal to min i. If mp while one. Mp if mp dot count of r break. PR C two plus plus. Um, well, V is equal to ST dot query L R dot auto. Um, end is less than other dot end. Yeah. So what we need to do is r is equal to v dot val. Actually, we don't need index at all, do we? No, we don't. I don't care. Um, r is equal to v. L is equal to r plus 1. r is equal to v. You have six, that's fine. So what's wrong with you? Oh. St dot init c min. That shouldn't segfault. No, oh, it does. Um ugh. That's concerning. <laughs> what? Okay, wait. Wait, that makes no sense. Um, wait, six? Okay, wait, none of this makes sense. L is greater... How does this work? If L is greater than R, or R is greater than 28, okay, that's better. Um, that makes no sense. What? makes no sense. Wait, what is going on? It shouldn't it shouldn't be this good. It shouldn't be this linear. This is this seems wrong. Zero two. It 
shouldn't be this linear. We have 0 to 2. which then has 2, 4, but it should be a minimum, right? Zero, zero, 2. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, let's try a big case. Does it work? I stop. I mean, it seems to be going fast. Stop. Okay. Sure. Um, we will hope it's linear. We will hope it's linear. We will hope that this random case means that it's linear. Um. <laughs> No idea, man. No idea. You guys think it's linear? <laughs> uh, this is so dumb. Why do, I, why do I keep having to guess? Why can't I prove anything on this stream? I don't, I don't know how to prove this. Though. I mean, like, it makes sense that it's linear. It feels right. It feels like there shouldn't be that many, like, bad cases, but no idea. If it works for a large random case, then it's probably... Like, this is the complexity. It's this times log n. Um which is very fine. Let me try like, okay, let me try spread out 29. 24. Yeah. Try very spread out. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, sure thing. I mean, it feels like it's linear. It feels like it feels like there can't be that many possibilities. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, vector PL rev rev CT is equal to LR BL seek seek dot push back CT. Um, seek dot push back and P VL. Lift, lift that push back. Yeah, Four, I like zero. I J equals zero. J plus one plus the C dot size. J plus plus. Um, lift. Seek. J zero is equal to seek J plus one. Four L X seek. Four of T is 
square t plus n one t plus plus. Um, T is zero, T is less than log T plus plus. If, what do we get? If, if lift X T minus one is equal to negative one break, lift X T lift lift x t minus one t minus one try four l r q v v q A is equal to L plus one, B is equal to Okay, that was one, right? If lift P I is not equal to negative one. If no, uh let's see. If R V C dot S is less than or equal to R, K plus equals two to the I, P is equal to C. If R V P dot S is equal to R, if k mod 2 is equal to 0, c at 1, else c at negative 1. Okay. Ready for samples, I guess. Nice. <sighs> Submit or not to submit. I mean, the code's simple, right? So C into end to Q, we have this thing. Vector PLV, yeah. Put it in, put in the Qs, compress. Where of X is R plus plus, compress. Well, C is CO dot size. VL min, C189, min L is min, min L R. Yeah. Say so cream in TST. PLRV. So init the lift. If min i is less than 28, do that. If L is greater than R or R is greater than 28, or mp.countlr, break. 
lift our v.push back lr, lift.push back vl log negative one, c.push back ct, make a new node, v is st.query lr.val, all of r plus one, r equals v. Yep, mp.count lr, seek.push back mplr, init the lift, then do it. Then for this, if m not mp.count ab, print zero automatically. Um, do the lift, rvp.s is r. If you end exactly on r, then do that. mod 2 is 0, print 1, otherwise print negative 1, otherwise print 0. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's see it. This is so far removed from the original problem. It's actually crazy. It's probably going to get wrong answer, but um, we'll see. Let's just watch. <laughs> Why not just watch? Damn. Okay, fine. Be that way. And it's probably a bug, I would say. Well, I'm pretty sure the idea is fine. Uh, it's probably a bug. Read into N and Q. Do the compression stuff. Don't need this. Seem to L to R. V dot push back L R. Alright, let's um now let's let's read the code first, because we should read the code. Scene to L to R, V dot pushback L R, code on insert L, code on insert R, vector P L V Q, scene to L to R, Q dot pushback L R, code on insert L, code on insert R. Yeah. Um, reverse all of you. Seg tree, do that, RV. ST dot init CA, vector PLRV. Vector PLRV. Map PLLMP, vector VL lift. L is I plus one, R is min I. So we do this, right? We query this. We know that L is strictly less than R, which is fine. Um, does it work for one? It's like one, one. Does it work for this? Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, I'm actually so dumb. You're not supposed to print negative one. How did I pass sample? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, one more test. Um, all right. So if you end up worse, if you end up worse, right? L is greater than R and R or R is too big or we already have you and do that RV dot pushback LR lift dot pushback VL log negative one I need to go in reverse um, 
Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, so you've got pushback CT. Uh, do we need to do that anywhere else? So this is fine. Then this needs to be in order. Then we do this in reverse so that if this works, it works. Yeah. Let's try again. <laughs> try again and again. Come on. Hey. Okay. Fine. Let's write a stress test or something. I don't know. Um, that's why. Okay, I see. Um, sure. Now we do this. Sure, okay, so it's getting a lot of things wrong. Um, why so? First of all, let's check that it passes the samples. this as small as possible. Okay, what was this one? So zero one. Is 
zero one. One three two three. And it's equal to zero res is one. Why is res one? So four zero two one three two three zero one. Oh, I still have to. Yeah, um, that doesn't fix everything, though. RVP.SSR. Nancy equals one, res equals zero. Why? Zero two one one two two, right? Oh. Um Cool. Um, let's make you bigger. Ah, uh, sure. That's fine. We're missing a condition. Nice. Don't TLA. Don't TLA. Memory lane. Ah, 
wait, okay, that's that's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Because that means this might not be linear. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, okay, we're having fun with this problem. Why might you not be linear? Can we keep ints? <laughs> we can just do that. Let's see. Let's try it again. <laughs> uh, this is probably a more pressing issue than LL versus int, but whatever. Why? Why? What doesn't compile here? No. Oh. Because of this stupid symmetry. It's not going to be the issue, but it's worth a shot. Like, the issue is probably that this is quadratic. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, not even close, baby. Not even close. Not even close. Cool. Okay, now I can read chat. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. Sheer hard work versus talent. Again, I don't like to believe in talent because it's so hard to measure. In the context of competitive programming, Like, I don't believe there exists data that would let us measure that. So I'd just rather, like, you know, it's easier to not believe in talent because then, like you know, like you have, um, you can have faith in yourself. Um, like I think, any data that someone might try and make an argument about talent with is like corrupted in some way. So I, I don't, I don't have, I, I don't know, I don't know the answer, but I choose, I prefer to not believe in it. Uh, the math folder, where was that? I remember where that was. Um, what was the math folder? Oh, it's my uh, classes. Like this is for uh, Linalg, for example. Where you just write out some stuff. And these are my uh, CS classes. One about ranges, that's what I'm doing. Right, that's what I just did. Time per problem, uh, as, as long as I take to solve it, pretty much. Break the problem into smaller problems. That doesn't, that doesn't really mean like breaking it into cases. It means like, like splitting up the, the, the general task into like, it's not necessarily cases, like not test cases or anything like that. It's, um, it's like, like the task here. No, actually this, this problem isn't a good example, but like, it's, it's like, like if you have two things to do in a problem, you, you do those two things separately and you solve them separately, I guess. And you, um, like you take that big task and you turn it into the two smaller tasks and then you solve them separately. That's that's I think that's what that's supposed to mean. Leco versus code forces depends on who's asking. Improving maths, uh, practice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a better answer. Solving problems at night harmful. I don't think so. Um, if it screws up with your, if it screws up your sleep, then yeah, but if not, then, I mean, it should be fine. Increasing typing speed, just doing it, really, like, I, I've just, I mean, I've typed a lot while coding, I've typed a lot for school, stuff like that, I type up my notes, I just, I type a lot, and so, like, my body has to get good at it, or I'll just be slow and fall behind everywhere. Man, I can't believe how close that was. <laughs> Jesus, what the hell? This is, okay, hang on. What was that test? What is test 13? Um, you're all zeros. Is it, just, is it just constant factor? Is that what we're dealing with here? I feel like it's constant factor. Yeah, it's constant factor. 
somehow. I don't know. It's weird. Today is it maybe a better programmer? Awesome. Yeah, awesome. That is cool. Cool to hear. Uh, I will try to read every message in chat, but I don't know. Do I grind on Grinder? Uh, no comment. New Year's resolution to start? No. Actually, the fact that I'm starting the stream on January 1st is pure coincidence. It's like, it's genuinely a coincidence. But you can, you can see it as a resolution if you want. Best donut flavor. I like vanilla cream a lot. Although, it's, yeah, it's just, I don't know, a mouthful of sugar, pretty much. When you're stuck, do I try and work around the test case? Logic first, yeah. Like, I, 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 mean, I mean, you can see what I did. I went through my code multiple times to try and, um, like, catch any general bugs. And then there was a specific, um, there was, like, one thing I was forgetting to do. And at that point, I wrote a stress test and used a case to find it. Uh, people are just starting. I check the description. I have like a list of things that I would recommend for anyone, pretty much. Level Linux. Uh, it's intro. It's just like it's intro Linux. Yeah, it's not like there's not that much to it. We're just like doing. I don't remember the the problem set, but like this is, this is just a practice for our final. We're just um like for example, this is. Given a parameter, solve the matrix for it and find when the matrix is solvable or something. Like, it's not that, there's not that much to it, really. Drawing app, notability. I'm using a friend subscription, which is theoretically still existent. Yeah. You get wrong answer. Stare at the code. Like, stare at the code, see if it matches your idea. If so, stare at your idea, see if it's actually correct, see if it makes sense. If so, write a stress test. That's 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 my process. Tell if a problem is ad hoc from the start, as opposed to requiring some algorithm. No, because at the start you have no idea what it'll take at all. Like you, well, some problems like you can tell they're going to be like algorithmic. Like if it's, I don't, I don't know. Like sometimes it just it just feels like it's going. I mean, I don't. Know. It's hard to tell though, because like this problem, it seems like it's going to be some like combinatorial bash. But then you make an observation and you realize like it's a lot weirder than that. So it's hard to tell from the beginning. No, I finished it, but um, we're just uh, talking right now. Yeah, resolutions are cursed, maybe. Attribute strong start. I did Usico for like three months, and I also went to pretty good schools. So I had a good, I didn't do math Olympiads, but I was good at math. It's so like it just sort of made sense for me to do well initially because I had problem solving stuff. Free time, uh, no comment. I don't really do much. I watch videos, streams, whatever. Relax. Just um, chill pretty much. Um, yeah, check out the roadmap for pretty much any, it works for any rank up to like, maybe CM, maybe red, depends on things. It's not, uh, yeah, see the description pretty much. 3 AM. Yeah. I'm, I'm going for a while. I'm going till like, right now it's 4 PM for me. I'm going till 11, let's say. C++ 17? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. It seems like... Oh, yeah, because 64-bit, yeah. But time is also an issue. So I need to... Um, has to balance out both. Okay, cool. Uh, how am I selecting problems? I am going down this list of contests and solving problems that I haven't solved. That's my strap. This one I've looked at. Um... This one, I believe I've also looked at, yeah. This one, we can try doping. I know it's hard, but we can try it. <sighs> Let's look at doping, I guess. I kind of wanted to do this one. 
get rid of this code. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Call an array A of length n fancy if for each index it holds the AI is AI plus one, A minus one plus one. Okay, so it has to be like that. P is lexicographically smaller than P, and f of P prime is K. The task is to count for each K the number of K special permutations modulo M. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, sure. Yes. Um, let's call f of p, p applied to permutation is the minimum of this array is going to be a partition, such that each one of them is fancy. So that's our task. Great. <laughs> Wait, why are you so small? Oh, because it's mod 11. Okay. So I mean, lexicographically smaller. Um, so what that means is this is weird. What does it mean? What does it mean? Um, M is not prime because it doesn't need to be. So, like, Okay, so lexicographically smaller, right? So we're going to fix the prefix that's the same. And then we're going to say that the rest has to be strictly smaller, which means that the first number just can't be this. It has to be smaller. So the first number is any of these. Then... Then what? Okay, so let's iterate. Suppose what? Okay. Sorry about that cough. That might have actually made it worse, but whatever. Yeah, that definitely made it worse. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, fine. So let's see. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? 
So this needs to be not uncubed, which is uh, cool. <laughs> okay, so like. Okay, so I has plan. So lexicographically minimal means up to a point. Lexicographically less means up to a point it's the same, and then it will be um, different afterwards. So we have 7213, for example, right? Then if we want this to be lexicographically less, if we have 7213 7, 1, 2, 1, 3 in our permutation, then this element needs to be less than 5, strictly less. So we need to count the number of permutations of these so that it's strictly less than five and um, everything else is, is cool. So how do we do that? So all right, supposing we have Suppose, okay, this needs to be not n cubed. It needs to be not n cubed. We cannot do this in n cubed. But we can, however, think of n cubed and then optimize it. We can, however, think of n cubed and then optimize it, right? So, what we're going to do is think of n cubed. Think of n cubed. solve it first um no it not it does not get boring because every problem is different so different like there's no like if there were a set process that you could follow to solve every problem then like yes it will get boring but the fact that it's every problem is different like it's it's so it's so diverse there's so much in it that like the only like some problems are boring but like, then they're boring for everyone, and then they try not to put those in contests. That's, that's why people don't like standard problems, because they're the same as old problems, and they're just not interesting. But like, problems like the ones I've been doing, problems that are weird, problems that are out there, like, those are interesting. And they stay interesting forever. Uh, taking notes. I don't actually usually draw things out. I'm doing it a bit for stream, but like this is notability. Uh, where was I? Stream. Yeah. This is notability. Um, this one's about math. Yeah, it's about uh, counting. But I mean, there's going to be some coding in it. Like you have to create an efficient algorithm to do the math. Geometry, yeah. Geometry is, yeah. There's not much interesting geometry. There's a little bit, but not that much, probably. I, I'd, I've, I've never seen a geometry problem with an observation. I've just never seen that, except for like simplifications, like something that, like something that actually like transforms the problem or something like that. But I'm I'm inexperienced. I don't do much geometry, so maybe there's more in it than I think. I had to charge my phone. Yeah. When do I read editorials? Um, I try not to, until after I solve it at least. I might like. After I um, do this today, after I finish today, I might um, look at the editorials for the problems I've solved just to see. These both have the same runtime. That's crazy. Do you have? No, you have a lot of memory. OK. That's fine. Yeah. 
Okay, this is fine. But yeah, I don't I don't do it. Um, I I I try not to read them before I sell them at all. And I would recommend that to pretty much anyone. Because learning to think is the most important thing. And sometimes, like editorials, you might, like you might need to pick up some knowledge, um, which is why you might eventually want to look at them. But more often than not, the the answer is you just need to think harder. So that's what I try and do. I just think harder instead of being told to think harder. <sighs> Okay, so if we have 721 fixed, right, then we need you to be lexicographically normal. So we're counting the number of permutations so that so we're counting the permutations so that The beginning is strictly less, equal, or greater than the required element, and and what? The beginning is strictly less, greater than, or equal to that. And the beginning is equal to this. And we have k um, things to do. We have k things to do, right? Supposing we do have k things to do, then what does that mean? Seven, two, one, three, five, four, six. Seven, two, one, three, five, four, six. Why is it monotonic? That okay, whatever. That shouldn't matter. Um Okay, so if we do this, does it let us uniquely determine things, right? If we decide to break a spot, it will strictly break the spot. It will not add a new one. If we decide to insert a spot, that spot cannot already exist, so that's fine. If we do something with the beginning, so for each element, we can break a spot in this many ways. We can insert a spot in exactly one way. We can put you in the beginning, or we can put you somewhere else. And those are our options. Or we can put you somewhere that doesn't interfere with anything. And those are our options. And what does that mean? What does it mean? Um, yeah, and that works, and that's n cubed. So you need to be not n cubed. So that's why this problem is hard, I assume. 
Um, it's arbitrary mods, so there's no FFT shenanigans. Um, so what's it mean? What's it mean? What's going on? How long are... How long are... Um, are they two hours or two and a half hours? At code of regular contests. Um... Why do I keep singing? <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, regular. Okay, two hours. Yeah, sure. That's fine. I I don't see the tags, no. I mean, no, there are no tags here. You can only... I only see them after I solve it. I mean, I know the difficulty because people are telling it to me, but it doesn't, like, the difficulty doesn't matter. I know this is 3,300 because of how the, um, the standings look. But other than that, like, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because nobody else solved this. Someone solved it, but whatever. Yeah, it's a hard problem. I don't think it's a good idea to ever see the tags, pretty much. I mean, yeah, it gives away stuff about the problem. That's the main thing about it. Well, it gives away stuff about the problem that you're not going to have in contests, so you should practice not having that information. Because, I mean, recognizing the tags is part of it. Okay, so... <clears throat> so we have a common thing that we need to do. So I mean, ultimately we're counting permutations of length i with x um, things in them. Counting permutations of length i with x things in them. So the lexicograph we smaller adds another dimension to it, which is tricky. It means we need to be smart about this, which is fun. So if we put you in the beginning, you'll have one of many such states. Yeah. OK. So what does it mean to do that? Can we somehow embed the lexicographic stuff into the state? Or can we go from the beginning? I mean, any any strategy for doing that is not going to necessarily work, right? I, mean, I don't even know what's like. What would that be? I don't know what that would be. Actually, wait, if we, there are a lot of ways to do permutation DP. Probably none of them are actually going to work um, directly, I suppose. But 
There's got to be something I can do. <coughs> uh, sorry. So. So the elements themselves are almost irrelevant. The only question is how many How many elements do we have the smaller of? How many such elements do we have? Because if we have the immediate smaller of you, and putting them in this order is fine. Having the immediate smaller of you, putting you in this order is fine. Um, so basically, like, we have a certain number of elements that can't form a chain. We have a certain number of elements that can form a chain. And something about the beginning. If not for the beginning part, then this would be fine. If not for the beginning part, then this would be fine. That is the thing. So we need you to be strictly lexicographically smaller. And further, this needs to work somehow. The state is we have this many of you, this many of you, and the kth smallest of you is at the beginning. Somehow we have to fix the beginning. And the beginning is the kth smallest. We don't necessarily need, I mean, k is fixed. Like, there's a certain index that matters for you and a certain index that matters for smaller. Oh, yes, I'm doing your problem. Nice. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I recognize you by name. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, there should be an extension for it. Yeah, I think... Um, sorry, I'm talking away from the computer again. I think, yeah, streaming this should be interesting. It should be... I don't, I don't think this has been done before to this extent, like just straight up grinding for the extent that I intend to do it for. So, should be something. 95%. I can probably solve anything up to 3,300 given infinite time. Maybe 34, probably not 34. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. To, to draw a line, it's somewhere around that. Um, Most of the time, it's not knowledge. That or it's derivable, which is fine. 
most maybe old code forces problems are harder in that sense like more volatile but mostly yeah it's just brain uh, i do have discord check the description i have not used a hokarasic at all i do not know it genuinely do not Yeah, hey, Kevin. I'm, I'm going for a long time. Long, long time. I'm not even halfway through the day right now. Should be fun. Uh, when will you wake up? What time zone are you in? I feel the difference between 3,000 and 3,200. Yeah. Yeah, in general, yeah. Because, like, that's that's sort of where my skill range tops off. So it takes longer. Yeah, it's harder. Like, 3,000s are in the realm of stuff I should be able to contest solve soon, and 3,200s are not. So I guess I guess that's the distinction. Okay, how do we do this? <laughs> we are given a permutation and some numbers. Right, so. Permutations with This many here, this many here. In the beginning is the kth smallest. Wait, no, what am I doing? Wait, that doesn't work. No, that's in cubed anyway. Okay, shoot. Okay, um, I'm back to nothing, I guess. <laughs> That's cool. Am I secretly Chinese? Uh, no comment. I am secretly Korean, I'll say that. I, I don't know about my Chinese side. Korea is pretty strong, too, I'd say. They have some LGMs. What this problem is about? Um... Basically, for some permutation, draw a line everywhere where the adjacent element to the right is not exactly one bigger than the one to the left. So this you don't draw a line because two is one bigger than one. Count the number of lines, add one. That's the parameter k for the permutation. For each k, you want to count the number of permutations so that that parameter is k. And I don't, I don't, is it worth trying to understand this? I don't know. But like, you want to count the number of permutations such that that parameter is k for each k. And it's lexicographically smaller than the input permutation. That is the problem. Brain fogs? Um, I had that a little bit today, but I just kept going and it went away. I don't know. It's kind of hard to, I mean, it's probably like being tired or stuff like that, or stressed, maybe, but if you can get comfortable while doing it, then it's probably, it'll probably go away. I, I don't know exactly, though. Okay, so we have nothing better than n cubed, which is a shame. If we have this many of you, and this many of you, and then we're deciding that we have Well, wait, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Um So 
So we're stepping through this sequence. We're stepping through this sequence, right? We're building up this sequence. such that we have this many of these, this many of these, and this many of these, right? When we get a new element, what might it do? When we get a new element, it'll change one of you potentially, and it will And open this one up. But then the permutations aren't unique because then we could add one here or add two if we put it in between. It doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, so. So what? So what? So what is going on? What is going on in this problem? If we did not have a less cographically smaller condition, then this would be straightforward. That we do makes it hard, of course. One, three, four, two. Like, can we reorder the the tied elements? I mean, technically not. One sec. Yeah. Cool. Yes, good. Anyway, uh, quick chat. Yes. So we shall have fun. Task is to count for each thing. Number of case special permutations modulo n. Seven two one three. Right, you're fixed. You can put the four down. You can put the four down, or we can not. You can put the four down, or we can not. I mean, that eliminates one dimension, but not that useful of a dimension, All right? So we're building up. DP of NK. Seven two one three. Given a fixed prefix, all right. You're not gonna have anything. You're going to be in the beginning, all right? And you're not gonna have anything. You can either have anything or not. 
can put you in the beginning or not. All right. Then we have k ways to keep it steady, or one way to keep it not steady. And then we have one way to change the beginning. order that we do this in matters. The fact that we're going from small to big matters. The fact that we're going from small to big matters. Um, topic streams, maybe if I feel like them for ICPC, that would be the goal. It, it would be for the sake of my own practice, but maybe. It is hard to have faith. I mean, yeah, like I, I was nowhere in that problem until I made the first observation. Then I was nowhere until I saw it from a different angle and made the second one. And then it was about reducing the complexity. There are multiple steps and each step felt impossible until you, like it always feels impossible. Uh, I mean, there are some problems where like it's a bunch of small steps and you can kind of like feel confident that you're going in the right direction. But like sometimes it's just like a big step that looks impossible until you make it. And I mean, yeah, like it, it is hard to have faith, but it's going to look impossible regardless. And then you're going to probably solve it anyway. So might as well try. Uh, someone asked my opinion on the goodbye earlier. Uh, I don't know. I don't like problems that can be Googled because I don't try that usually. I, I don't Google unless it seems something like very standard. So I'm probably not going to do it. So I'm probably going to get a disadvantage. So I'm probably not going to be happy with it. Uh, and seemingly that was the case. So I'm glad I didn't do the round because I probably would have suffered from it. But yeah. That's, that's, I don't, I mean, G is, you know, G is whatever. G is an LGM problem. Um, doesn't bother me. And if other things had Googleable, Googleable aspects, that's also makes it worse, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, hard problems are satisfying. I'm going like one to two hours per problem so far. This one's going to take longer, I presume. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's nice to get it done, get it accepted. That is always nice, that dopamine hit, I suppose. It's sort of like, I'm sort of numb to it at this point, but it's still, um, depend, depending, on the, depending on how hard the problem was, it's still pretty freaking sweet. Okay, what are we doing? We have no code yet. We still have n cubed. Still have an n cubed. We do not have better than n cubed. Can we build block by block instead of 
instead of not. Okay, suppose we build block by block, right? Let's see how that helps. Maybe it helps? Wait. Because then we only have one choice. Well, no, wait. Well, we can break or we can not break. Oh, yeah, wait, now we have three choices. We can, we can extend, we can do nothing, or we can break a block. Um, so here we can break or we can not break. And that is the thing. Does that help somehow? We build block by block, right? And we can break or we can not break. We can take a good one and turn it into a bad one. Take something that counts as zero. Turn it into something that counts two. We put you at the end, right? So we gotta turn one into two, we gotta turn zero into one. Either way, it adds one. That's fine. So then we have one way, no, we still, it still depends on K. We still have a certain number of ways to break or not break. Mm. How's that work? Length of the permutation and the required modular. Uh, N cube would definitely not work. Two thousand too big, and there's there's a, a constant factor with it too. A B C D like in div one. Um, yes. Usually, but I mean it's still fun to solve hard problems. Helps me get better either way. I might as well do the hard ones too. Um, yeah. How does this work?
I mean... We have to do all of them. We have to do all of the Ks. So somehow this must work. We have to do all of the Ks. Yeah, I think I have to think harder. I think this is a thinking part. It feels like it would be that. The universe subarrays can be partitioned such that each one of them is fancy. Like, can we go guy by guy and do this? Can we go from small to large? Suppose we have the permutation for five, four, and six. Can we put three in somewhere so that you're not at the beginning? Can we put three in somewhere? Put three in somewhere so that, well, you can break. Well, then we have to care about the beginning, though. That's the tricky part, isn't it? Put three in somewhere so that you can break. C++ is very customizable, and you can do um, weird stuff like if defs. You can have these like custom, um, like you can just print a data structure straight up, which Python and stuff has. But this is very like you can you can define it to be however you want. Operator overloading stuff like that. It's really um, versatile, and it's fast. You probably aren't going to have time limit issues that other languages also won't have. Average difficulty? I have no idea. Um, um, like, wild guess, 2,000 to 3,000 range? No, no, actually, the hardest ones are going to be harder. Like, it can probably go up to 3,500, something like that. Probably. Because, I mean, if the, if the top people can't solve them, and they're like, what, 3,400 LGMs? Then, yeah, it can be around that. I don't, I don't. I have no idea about average though. Seven two one three five four six. Why am I reading the samples? What is that going to do for me?
Sometimes I tend to reread the statements just to, um, not any particular reason, just because, like, maybe I missed something. Usually not, but sometimes it happens, so it's good to sanity check. Misreading is very frustrating to me. Okay. Um, it's probably not the case, though. Okay, task is to count for each K, the number of K special permutations mod M. Second example, the permutations are less than that. The small ones are, yeah. Additions for each one of those fancy. I keep trying to do the straightforward thing, but obviously that's not going to work. At least the way I'm thinking about it. I need to like get out of my own head with that. Um, what are we doing? Oh, Unstoppable Heart, thank you for the five. Um, tips for balancing weak code and code forces. Um, I mean, if you need weak code to get a job, it's probably higher priority than a hobby, I suppose. Like, in terms of strict balance, it really depends on how much you want to do it. Like, how, how much do you enjoy code forces? Stuff like that, competitive programming. Because, I mean, it will help. Like, it will help your problem-solving skills. But, like, if you want to mix, probably what you should do is learn the patterns for leak code. Learn all the, the knowledge that it takes because interviews are all about knowledge, stuff like that. And then you can get your... Pro once, you, once you feel comfortable with the knowledge, you can get your problem-solving with code forces. Um, it depends on time frame, too. I would say, like, the better you are at problem-solving, just the easier it is to learn things. Like, I, I don't have a hard time learning pretty much anything anymore because I can think a lot for it. I mean, if you can already, like, pass the interviews and stuff, then you don't need leak code that much anymore, I suppose. I forgot to um, update this. I can heart this. <laughs> sure, hearted. Let's go. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, I need your first element to be smaller than seven or equal to seven. If you're smaller than seven, what are you? Okay, I need you to be smaller than seven, right? Most of those are smaller than seven. Your first element is gonna be smaller than seven. Um, 
place an omen in the video, as Lauren said. Then we're going to place an element somewhere else. Can we go from the back? What if we run from the back? So we went from the back and placed elements in, right? It's not really going to help, right? No, no, it's not going to work. Uh, at least as far as I can see. Is this a string problem? <laughs> I have a hunch. I have a hunch that this becomes a string problem. Then that adds like two more dimensions, so that doesn't actually help. No, huh. I don't know. That's tricky.
shame. Um, Kofor's the setup. Probably like the most useful thing is this. This lets you run your code on the Coforce system, like with arbitrary input here. Um, that lets you trial and error a lot easier. I suppose it's probably the simplest thing. I mean, input, like you've already probably learned how to do it, right? So it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it comes from standard in, like this, like stuff that would interact with the terminal. Yeah, I'm, ex <laughs> I'm expecting people to drop off either from um, getting tired of problem solving or because time zones are a pain. I mean, it's night for a lot of people here, I assume, right now. That's 5 p.m. for me, so I can go for a lot longer. Yeah, so things. Things indeed. <clears throat> it's 
So what do we do when we don't have ideas? <laughs> Learning experience, huh? <coughs> this is Same number of ways to not extend. Or some number of ways to break. Or we can put you in the beginning and you'll do something special.
れのためにやってたんですか<笑>、うん、でも俺できてたんだな Depends on too much information. So, what are we doing then? We need to do work. We need to do it anyway. We need to do work. Some left hand extension. I just like what do I do? Now I have Michael Penetation and my card in my hand. Kate Dunjo is going to get three special penetration points. Jerry's going to get two special penetration with Michael.
if you think about the permutation in terms of a sequence of blocks. <coughs> Let's just build it block by block instead of element by element. Yeah, it probably is pretty easy. I'm just missing something or a bunch of things. I'm not sure. What projects? Uh, not really any. I haven't done much SWE stuff at all. Nothing of note, really. Every time I read chat, it means I'm like <laughs> defeated. Ugh. Problem is harder. I will say that. It was definitely harder. Permutations are Alex code graphically similar. <coughs> One three four two. Any permutation where we have a smaller one is going to be like that. Any permutation where we have a smaller one is going to be like that, right? <coughs> Any permutation where we have a smaller one is fine. Simplify that because it only cares about the first element. But what if we. <coughs> okay, 
So like. Consider the position of the one, right? Consider the position of the one. Consider the position of the one. The one is gonna be here, right? in like the smallest possible way to represent the permutation. Let n with k things and one. And what was n? Build a piece by piece. If you consider the position of the one, well right now you're smaller. So now we've placed down one to four, right? What are we interested in in terms of that? Like if we place down seven, and it's at the beginning. If we place down seven and not the beginning. And we know that the thing in the beginning is smaller and that we can't put anything down of the beginning. Otherwise, <coughs> if we do put seven down at the beginning, interested in is how long you're going to last at the very beginning. How long you're going to last. <coughs> okay, okay. So if we get to seven and we decide not to put it at the beginning, then we just can't put anything else at the beginning. If we get to seven and we do put it at the beginning, then of course we still can't put anything else at the beginning. But now we have a new beginning. Now the beginning is the stuff after seven. Which means that actually, either we get guaranteed much less, or we have to keep working. If we get guaranteed lexicographically less, After we put down seven, we can't put down anything else at the beginning. That's true. So if we get guaranteed lexicographically less, then we're good. Otherwise, we have a seven at the beginning. Which means that whatever state we had to previously store, we have to store it still. 
So is the next one looks bigger, so. <coughs> so is the next one looks smaller. This feels like it's on to something, but I'm not sure. I need to get more water. I'll be right back. Something doesn't matter about this. <laughs> but like even if seven is in the beginning, or it's just not, if it puts seven in the beginning, element we put in the beginning, right? Like it has to form a decreasing sequence or something, right? Like we're considering the decreasing sequence at the start of the permutation. <coughs> so say there's seven or three, four, two, three, right? So put down one, and put down two. Seven, three, two, four, right? Seven, four, two, three, whatever. So we put down one. If we put down two, if we put down two after one, <coughs> then we get this number here. Next, suppose we put down three at the beginning, right? So like, if we have this. How does this work here? Suppose one is somewhere else, right? <coughs> Supposing one is somewhere. What do we do with two? Well, if two is somewhere else, if two is, if, if there's two, what? What about two? What about two? What about two? What do we have? What do we have? Two, one. Seven, three, two, four. Right? Two, three, two, five, two, five, three, two, four, one. Right? So we have one. If we place two here, now at this point, <coughs> if 
Let's go to one. We're building like a subsequence of exponentiation, right? We're interested in the first point at which you're not a subsequence. Is that how this works? So we're building a subsequence of exponentiation. But we're interested in the first point at which you're not a subsequence. And if the first point at which you're not a subsequence is smaller. Everything over here is going to end. If the first point at which you're not a subsequence is bigger than everything over here, it's going to end. If we place the 7 in the wrong spot, and the 7 is in the middle, First point at which you're not a subsequence is zero. <coughs> we have a subsequence. Out of the first few. But if out of the first seven, subsequence is, is bad, subsequence is at all broken. So if 7 goes not there, right, then 0. <coughs> Can we add you to the free presentation? Sure. Um, yes. OK. Now we have a 7, right? Now otherwise, we've seen 7 is exactly in the beginning. <coughs> Maybe you're not a free presentation. You have this, like, baggage. No. Yeah, this baggage that we can't put you in the beginning. Sounds like a tricky. Sounds like a tricky condition. So what remains? <coughs> so otherwise, if we put down seven in the beginning, if the next element is smaller. We must have handled it already. So 
take the next element out of the first u is a 3. So do you have the subsequence property? If the 3s have the subsequence property, right? have the subsequent property. So we have this state. You can have the subsequence property. <coughs> then, if you don't match here and you're smaller, then that's fine. You be the subsequence. And we put this bigger thing here. Alright, well, we cannot do that. No, we can. That will break it, though. Wait. <coughs> Does it matter how long the subsequence is? So if we put u anywhere in here, well, yes, it does. If we put the 9, so like we, we have the first breaking. If we put the 9 before What do we do? If we put, okay, I have, I have, I have a, a collection of ideas that are not coming together right now. That is where we're at. That is unfortunate, but that's how it is. <coughs> um, might have been tenth to qualify for East Coast camp. Uh, what do you mean necessary? Like topics or like skill? <coughs> mm. Okay, so we're building a subsequence. Like then, k things, um, and you're a subsequence up until this point.
that you're still in queue, but maybe it goes somewhere. And there's subsequence up until this point. Three. First element that breaks the subsequence <coughs> is here and it's bigger. <coughs> now suppose that ten is supposed to go in the beginning, but it does not. Suppose that a 10 is supposed to go in the beginning, but it does not. Instead, it goes later. Instead, it goes have this for matching an order. You put the 10 earlier than you should be. 10 is supposed to go here instead of being here. And that's bad. Right? That means that now we have at this point worse. Um, yes. Um, used to go wise, I don't, I haven't been following recent contests, but I think it's like one to two problems in plat on average. Um, CF wise, maybe like orangish or purple if you're better at OI, I guess. I don't know much about the uh, Guernsey track though, honestly. Okay, we're building such a permutation, right? If you don't do anything, if you go exactly as planned, then we ignore you. If you go earlier, then you break the subsequence property, and you're here. So you're here. And you're bad. So now it matters where we put you, right? Well, no. You can prefix some of that. That's not better. Well, what matters is like, uh, what matters is what comes after, right? Like, where are we after it? It sounds like the strict subsequence formulation isn't going to work, I don't think. It seems worse. It could go somewhere. Just focus on the first element, right? If the first element is out of place, then immediately we win. Otherwise, it's in place. So we look for the first element that's out of place here. If it was bigger, then 
So the next element that's out of place is bigger. And you're permanently screwed. If the next element that's out of place is bigger, then you can't do anything that leaves it bigger. Like if any of these are broken, <sighs> what does it mean? What does it mean to be broken? Um, okay, so we're focusing on the seven. If the seven is in the beginning, then we ask about what happens to the rest. Otherwise, we assume the seven is not in the beginning. So the only time we're interested in what happens to the rest is if the 7 is in the beginning. Because if the 7 is not in the beginning, we're assuming it flips correctly less. We're going to count all of them. So we're counting a general number of permutations. And we're counting the number of permutations where 7 is ignored. So we're counting... Okay, 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 okay. So we're counting a general But then we get the same issue, right? Twenty twenty four. Hopefully, that's the plan. Seven, two, one, right. So past the seven, right? We're building up a permutation where the seven. Something is forming in my head, but I'm not sure how to describe it. I, I, I don't even know what's happening here.
they're assuming you're going to build or like progress a smaller one. So building a life geographically smaller or explicitly constructing them. What does that mean for us? If I want to explicitly construct a list of graphically smaller permutation. What does it mean? Two one three, right? Suppose we have like a one here. If we're deciding this one is gonna do all the work for us. How? How are we deciding that? We can't just decide the one is gonna do the work for us, because we don't have their templates yet. If we have one two.
Starting with the spot can be Starting with the spot can be daunting. How does that look? Sign with the spot can be done. What is going on? What is going on? Come on. Alright. Yeah, this is hard. I just, I, I'm getting something in my head. I just cannot, like, pull it together. That's what's happening. It feels like something here should work, but I don't know what it is entirely. Like, if we have a thing. Square like classifications of permutations.
It's not a pattern here, it's a combo problem. I can't escape from it. Building permutation, right? And as soon as we have as soon as we have the element that we're going to use to break it. If we decide that four is going to break, right? Where is it going to break? It can break at any point where it would here. The answer is love. Yeah. Uh, how long do I spend being stuck? I've been on this for, I don't know, two or three hours. I'm planning to spend longer. Probably, like, for the sake of the stream, I'll do a problem for a day at most and then leave it for a bit. But 
in general, like, I'm okay with doing things for multiple days. Um, productivity wise, sure, if you're not like mentally tired of it. This I'm not yet, um, I'm still willing to try, so it doesn't hurt to keep thinking. Uh, more content? I don't know. Good question. Depends on how, how the rest of my plans go.
forward instead of to the brick, right? Inversion is later than the four if we don't care. If the inversion is earlier than the four. One, three, two. Break would also be caused by the three and the two, etc. Right? Break is caused by the four. And a similar break would also be caused by the three and the two and the one, everything in the middle, in that same position. And <coughs> everything here will go in here as expected. Still need the permutation to be subsequent. So let's do less.
Yeah, I'm talking like slightly. <sighs> just um, babbling, bab blabbing. Just kidding. Yeah, speak. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Communications Alex go graphically similar than one three four two are. One two three four. Hmm. I don't know.
as far as solutions go, these are very hard, but if you want to discuss any problems I'm doing on stream, you can do it on my Discord after. Um, that's in the description if you want it. What is going on? So, one. This kind of state is promising. I like have something like that.
I think I'll probably push it back up. Nine. Nine. Okay. Let's try not to get too far. Okay. Give me a minute. I know I am going to. this.
Mm. I come back with no ideas. <laughs> That's where we are. Yeah. That's what it's like sometimes. You get droughts.
choose problems by going through this contest list, picking a round I haven't done, and picking a problem I haven't done. That looks hard. Like this looks like it's um, 3300 based on the standings. So seems like it's fit for me. Given that these two guys did not solve it, which is <laughs> amazing. Indeed, yes. That is very cool. I did not actually realize that, but um, <laughs> great. Uh, yeah, th that's how I'm choosing. I'm just looking at things that look hard in difficulty. ICPC, yeah, I've done it already. Um, I'm going to this World Finals, which no idea when that's going to happen. The, the 2023 one. And then I have another year. Probably going to do this year, 2024. Whenever the um, regionals happen which is February or something, and then, yeah. We did well in um, the North America Championship, though. Hmm. Um, that's a harder question to answer. I'm going to try out research next, this semester, and see how it feels. It's probably going to be the biggest factor in determining the decision. So right now, I, I don't know. Um, depends on how interesting research is. God, I, I, I have something for this problem. I just, I cannot, I cannot bring it together in my head. Ah. Okay, this is, this is a symptom of being tired. I get it, but come on, man. So we're doing, we're building endurance. I've been able to, I've been able to do these like long days before. Like I've, I've done them for, I've done them during the, the school times. It was relatively fun. I guess now that I'm getting, jumping back into it, it's a bit hard on the first couple of days. Mm -hmm. Whatever. We're going to keep going. Ugh, like, okay, okay, okay. Suppose the first element is 7. Which is the mental picture I had in my head earlier, right? The first element is 7. If we're going to put the 7 anywhere else, then the answer is all the permutations of size 6, and then we just put the 7 somewhere that's not the beginning. If we're going to put the 7 in the beginning, then we can ignore the 7 and continue on to the rest of it. If the next element is an 8, now considering any elements that are Now, considering any elements that are higher, Now considering any elements that are higher, what? What about them? The samples are not the greatest. Eh, whatever. They're still combo samples, so they're stronger than normal ones.
Seven threes, right? I guess a three. To do. I mean, to get the three is a process. Get the break at this age, right? <coughs> I mean, okay, to get the break at the three, right? We need to put everything else higher. But then we need to put the three in not even. It just needs to be not baby. But it's going further to the right. To get the break at eight, right? We need to put Thank you. 
Seven, eight, right? So seven must be at the beginning. These must be in order. Everything smaller than or to the right can be whatever. Everything smaller than or to the left must be in order. Everything bigger than it does not matter. you here. See how we can do these at once? Like, like what? Uh, no, I'm not writing anything down. I'm literally just um, walking around. Stuff is going on in my head. Sorry, it's a bit hard to follow. Um, I'm maybe not the best candidate to do streams like this anymore, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah, it's mostly in my head. I find it easier. It's faster to think about. So, our break to be here, everything to the left must be smaller. Everything smaller to the left must be in position. Everything, big, everything bigger to the left must be placed in position. Seven has to be on the left. <coughs> to get the eight, the seven has to be on the left. <coughs> the six has to be on the right. Seven has to be on the left correctly.
the same computation? That's really a question. Are we, are we doing repeat computations? That's what it comes down to, I guess. Seven. Seven. <laughs> eight to be here. Everything under it must be in the correct position. So we especially count the permutations that are here. Especially count the permutations. Seven must be correct in all of you. So we pick like a midpoint, right? If we pick a midpoint somehow. If we pick you, now everything to the left of you is going to be like this, right? I have another way of thinking about it, I guess, which is something. What's up, Anton? I assume you solved this one in contest. <laughs> no idea. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I can do that. If I remind me, probably. Uh, the stream, maybe another three and a half hours? I'm doing an at coder virtual at the end of it. Then we can go over everything, I suppose. This one's crazy. I have no idea. So we have a formulation that makes it a bit easier. Can we can we generalize this formula form, form formulation 
can't even formulate words anymore. I don't know what's with me. So, we don't really care about the starting element anymore? What were thus concerned with? Okay, wait. This this feels like it should go somewhere, right? Like we have this reformulation, kind of. It's a little reformulation, but it's like something. Instead of placing elements at the beginning, so that the beginning element works. Placing all of these however we want. Replacing all of these however we want. What are we doing? Replacing all of these however we want. And we're leaving the rest for. And the rest are fine as long as they're not in the beginning. Actually, this this barely helps. What am I thinking? <laughs> Wait, this <laughs> this is barely different. Okay, 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 okay. Um, cool. Yeah, it's barely different. Okay. So basically, these can be whatever they want. These can be whatever they want, and then. The remaining one these can be whatever they want and then the remaining one doesn't really matter still require What do we require? What do we require? What is required here? What we need is u to be what we require is for u to be smaller. You can be placed however you want. There's exactly one special element, and it's that plus one. And if it's in the beginning, we put it there, otherwise we don't. And everything else must be in not the beginning. And the only difference here is that we're adding one element in, somewhere in between. Maybe turn x plus 1 into a special element, and we add x either as a special element or not. 
And what does it mean? What does it mean? We're adding in x. Try to stop eight, maybe. <sighs>
suppose it's starting to be morning for some people, huh? I mean, it's pitch, pitch black outside. Hmm. Nice. Um, <coughs> I'm going to try this for a bit longer, but not that much longer, I guess. Put it off for a bit after. It's almost, I don't know, it's almost like a binary string. I feel like we can't do this quickly. It's like, if we're given a binary string, we have to perform, construct a permutation from it. But it's like tricky. Think of it like there's exactly one way to add one. There are a certain number of ways to remove one. There are exactly, if there are k things, there are exactly k ways to remove one. And there are n minus k something. n minus k what? Like n minus k-ish thing happening. Right, but then like, that doesn't give us anything. The 
just has to get function now. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm not, I'm not, uh, <laughs> this, this problem is a bit rough, though. <laughs> if, if, if I hadn't spent maybe three or four hours on one problem, it'd be less tiring, but maybe we'll do something else. Maybe we'll do something easier. Just finish off the stream. All right, maybe we'll just leave this one for later. Um, what's from this one? This one's the, yeah, impossible one. What was this? This one we did, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, look, here's the thing, um, given my philosophy, it's actually okay to try a problem for a while, and then fail it, and then not even, like, I, at a certain point, you don't really need solutions, you just, like, like, what I need, to, what I need to improve right now is speed, pretty much. Speed in contest. Speed and like coherency. Like, like speed and accuracy, I guess. Um, and the intent of this practice of like slamming your brain against the wall trying to solve problems is for the sake of speed. It makes it faster. It gives it like exercise. So, <laughs> even though we got like nowhere on this problem, we still tried, which is really what it takes to get the benefit anyway. It's just the act of trying, the act of forcing your brain to do things. Which one was this? Yeah, this one. Um, so this was still good, is what I'm saying. So it's still not bad. Uh, how hard is this one? I don't really want to do a 3300 again. Yeah, no. No thanks. I need like, is there a round I haven't done? I think I've done all the rounds and stuff. Maybe I'll do a div 2 F. How about that? So yeah, there are, there are lessons here. Um, that even just the act of trying this problem for a few hours is still beneficial. Uh, that is the point I'm making. Um, kind of don't want to touch, maybe I'll do an edu. Let's do an edu F. Maybe not that one. <laughs> Maybe not that one. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, find something reasonable, right? Have we looked at this one? Ugh, okay. Just need, like, a cooldown problem. Uh, define had to see the tutorial. Like, what What requires... I mean, how, how long was it, I guess? Like, it's okay to fail some 1600s, because, I mean, it's all probability, but... Probably, if you have to see the tutorial, either try longer or... Oh, this one. Okay, I'm kind of curious about this one. Either try longer or... Um... I don't know. Or what? What was I going to say? 
What was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, streaming. I think ultimately try longer. I think that's what it is. That's what it's about. And if it's if it ends up being like knowledge, then like fine. Um, but. I guess like usually it's not going to be knowledge, so you can probably get away with trying longer. That's like the exercise thing I just talked about. The point of most of the point of practice is exercising your brain, going through thoughts faster, refining your thought process. You can do that with the editorial too, but it's kind of hard to get it right. Okay. All right, what are the constraints? Ten of the eighteenth in two thousand. 18th and 100. Usually I go longer than 45. Like usually, I mean, I just went on something for three hours, but depends on how much patience you have, I suppose. If you're like, if you're tired of the problem, then you're not really going to get anywhere with it. So it depends on that. Okay, I'm just going to do a div 2 um, E. Why not? Is that a P symbol? Try to write on Maxim's minibus and you take it. Means a Venus consider a ticket to be lucky if there is a digit on it that is equal to the sum of the remaining digits in modulo k. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 So this is a matrix problem, eh? What's the scoring? Let's cover the scoreboard. Um. Okay. So E1 is worth like most of the points. So I guess in contest we would do that first. Why not? Are people st <laughs> is is the view count increasing because people are starting to wake up now? Is that uh, how this works? Is what you get for streaming the whole day? Are people surprised that I'm still here? There's also that. I I, I wasn't lying about going eight to twelve hours. You know, it's been seven and a half right now. I'll probably go until like eight thirty. Just do this problem for an hour or something, and then um, do the act coder thing. I'm doing an at coder virtual at the end of this because I need to get better at contests as well, not just um, problems. Is leak code waste of time or not if you need to get an edge for interviews? No, I mean leak code's designed for interviews. It's fine for it. It'll it'll get you through. It'll give you the knowledge you need. Coforce is definitely way harder. Like the problems I'm doing are like exponentially beyond what you'll ever need for something like we code or interviews. Okay, and it's up to 10 to the 18th. Okay, it's up to 100. Two thousand, another two thousand problem, another n cubed problem. Ugh. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yeah. So we have three seconds.
ticket 7136 is not lucky because no digit is equal to the sum of the others modulo 10. So I mean, if we do it like a matrix problem, right? Then it's 100 to the fourth log n, which is not really fast enough. I mean, this one, E1 is, I'm not even going to think about it. <clears throat> Close this for now. It's good enough. Um, so we know what we need to do. We need to generate, count the sequences with some x with no digit x over 2. If k is even, then 0 can be reachable from both 0 and 2. So it's actually easier. Yeah, sure. Um, but it's still not fast enough, right? I mean, M is fixed, which is strange. <laughs> K equals two, indeed. So there can't be a zero and there can't be a two. Um, right, so So if you want the sum to be this, if you want the sum to be this, I am indeed still going. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Um, it's time. I'm. 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 I'm going a little more lax after spending three hours on doping, but <laughs> we'll. Um, we'll see how this goes. We're ending it off with a virtual. Uh, at coder. It's going to go terribly. <laughs> it is absolutely going to go terribly. But um, that's the plan. Tickets, Montana. Yeah, and I'm probably going to stick with regular contests because, like, doing grand contests after um, eight hours of this is not going to work, probably. I, I we'll see. Regulars are more tame, but they're still pretty harsh as well. I don't really know. Don't expect to get anywhere on the last problems, I guess. Okay, why is even this tripping me up? Come on. I mean, M is a prime number. Let's just solve E3, honestly. Number of digits on the ticket, the base of the numeral system on Venus, and the module for answer calculation. Yes, the resident, residents of Venus consider the ticket to be lucky if there's a digit in it that is equal to the sum of the remaining digits modulo k. Uh, 
Um, diminishing maybe, but not zero. I mean, I get more tired from trying a single problem for a long time than trying a bunch of problems. Like if I, probably I should pace it better, like not do 3300s near the end, probably. Uh, if I, if I did easier problems that I got through quicker, I'd get energy back and it'd be fine. Like it's still fine right now. I'm still able to try this relatively decently. I think, unless this is easy and I'm being dumb, but I don't know. And either way, diminishing is not zero. So, I mean, if I have the time, I might as well do it. And then there's going to be the other king that's one inclusive. Residents of Venus can say I take it for the lucky. It's it's only 7.30 p.m. I'm not staying up for this. I'm doing this in my time zone. Something about this, like... Yeah, pretty much everyone is in a different time zone, I would assume. The U.S. is not that common. Uh, I just eat regular food. I don't do coffee. It's not... I, I'm just not into it. Um, I mean, if I, if I was fixing that, I would put that much time into it, like the whole week, then yes, yes, it would be better to split it up. But like, I, I have pretty much infinite time right now from, um, winter break. So like, yeah, I, I do agree that like, like given a fixed amount of time, it would be better to split it up, but I'm willing to do this every day. I mean, I've, I've done this every day, like, before. It's just I'm streaming it now. That's pretty much the only difference. It's like this is the XOR thing almost, right? It's almost the XOR thing. This is almost the XOR thing, right? That's sort of where we're at here. That, like, if K is 2, right? I mean, to count the things, yeah. It's almost the XOR thing. It's almost end of K minus 1. It's just not entirely. This is 
almost the XOR thing. Sixty four. <coughs> um, generally, it's so you can't pre compute things because otherwise, I can maybe do some weird strategies that involve like pre-computing things and then just pasting them in the code. If the mod is an input, then you have to get the input to be able to do any calculations. So it makes that harder or impossible. It does slow the program down though, which is kind of a pain. Unless you do um, Barrett reduction manually or some other things. Ticket 7135 is lucky. Ticket 7 plus 1 plus 5 equals 3 more 10. Yes. So the sum is 6, and we have a 3. Or the sum is 6, and we have an 8. So most tickets are lucky. Of course. Here exactly half of them are lucky? Oh yeah. <laughs> so things with even sum. Um, suppose k is odd, suppose k is 3, right? We want to group together the things with k. We want to group together the things with um, k. Is there some like symmetry here? I feel like there's gotta be some symmetry. Why does it feel like there's symmetry? Why does it feel like there's symmetry? Why are the samples so small? Why do you have to do that? You didn't have to do that, you know. It's just not necessary to do that, but they did. Which is not very nice. So, I mean, there are um, k to the n minus 1 tickets with sum x, just because that's how it works. How many tickets have sum x that don't have x over 2? Either x over 2. Don't have the modular inverse of um, 2 times x, which is multiple numbers, apparently. Whatever, yeah. Like, how many things don't have zero? Hmm. 
Remember dance on the ticket at the base of the numeral system of Uranus and the module for answer calculation. Need to be a matrix. Yeah, it doesn't need to be a matrix. We can do the divide and conquer thing. Why? Why would it need to be a matrix? Yeah, it doesn't really need Oh, uh, yeah, current problem, sure. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to forget to do that, like, all the time. I'm uh, sorry. That's going to happen, inevitably. Let's do the divide and conquer thing. Um, this works, right? It's just FFT, like. Oh, that's why they want our terrain mod, because so you can't do FFT. Okay, I see. Yeah, um... Yeah, at K. Yeah. Um, four L I equals zero is less than K plus plus. technically need this, but yeah, we do, we do. Um, and pal K, I'm on this one. Uh, if that I dot size.
What? Why? I have int, and I forgot to reset it. Perfect. Okay, um, cool. I mean, that's not bad. So E3 is probably the interesting one. How do we do E3? I'll explain it after I figure out E3, because E3 might be nicer. Although this is pretty educational, I guess, so sure. You getting the wrong answer? I mean, I haven't tested mod, actually, so... No, you're fine. Okay. Sure. Yes. Okay, how to do E3. So E3 has 2,000. This is n cubed times log, which is not going to work. Oh, that's tight. This is n cubed times log, which is not going to work. So we need to do a bit better. Um, we, <laughs> we can do better with FFT. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's going to pass, though. <laughs> um, yeah, we can do better with FFT. That's not really going to work. That's k cubed log n, I guess, which is not bad. Remember, the lucky tickets modular m, i.e., the remainder of the dividing the answer by m. Yeah, so, I mean, this is a special problem. It's not an arbitrary matrix. I'll give this 30 more minutes, and then we'll do the act coder. So if I don't solve it in 30 minutes, fine. Therefore, the ticket number can be, actually, maybe an hour. I don't know. We'll see. See how much I like this problem. Although I don't ex expect to, because, I don't know, it doesn't seem that beautiful. Number of digits on a ticket, the base of the numeral system on Venus, yes. And we can check this against our um, E2 code, which is cool. What was this? Right, that problem. So we need to do this. We need to do this. We must do this. <sighs> yes. How must we do this? Okay, k equals 2,000, and but like, it's like mostly so then is odd. Then is odd, there's exactly one number that's excluded. Um, then is odd, there's exactly one number that's excluded, which is really weird. Like, what's up with that? You know? Like, what's up with that, man? 
What's up with that, dude? <laughs> that is odd. There's exactly one number that's excluded, which means like... Like, what's up with that? Number of lucky tickets modulo M, i.e. the remainder after dividing the answer by M. There's, a, there's a even odd stuff going on here, which is like, it's going to get annoying. I can tell. It's going to get annoying, which is really a shame. I guess it's something we have to deal with. It seems that we must run around Venus. Yes. Using answer module some pound number M. <laughs> I don't understand why you'd ever be interested in a mod answer, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. Shower thoughts. This example, there are only four lucky tickets. And we're given that it's prime. So we can do inverse. It's just, do we need to? So we know that we know what? What do we know? Ten to the eighth. Based on the normal system of Venus and the module for answer calculation. Yeah. Oh, oh what's that? Oh, God. Cool. Ugh. Random pains. Awesome. First example, there are only four lucky tickets. Three, four, ten to the ninth plus seven. K is two thousand, right? So we can can speed up the divide and conquer thing somehow, right? Or we can speed up the whole thing, which is probably more promising. It's just weird that, it's just weird how this works. Like we should be able to make a K squared log in or something. K squared log in will be fine. Yeah, K squared log in will be even faster actually. No, it won't. Um, no, it will not. Will it? Maybe. No. Oh, we cut out a factor of 2,000. And we add a factor of 400. And we cut out a factor of 100. We say, we add a factor, yeah, okay, no, it won't be faster. Um, whatever. Number of digits on a ticket, the base in the normal system, yeah. So how do we cut this out? I and mean, we still have to do this exponentiation to some extent, but I mean, we're interested in
<laughs> like, okay, suppose we know the number of ways to do it with not zero, right? Then we translate that to the number of ways to do it with not one by just adding one to everything, right? That should work, right? So let's actually, let's try that. Um, we add one or subtract one? Add one or subtract one. If we do one, right, if we do zero, then we go up to one. If we add one to everything. OK, yes. Um, This is actually, this is kind of educational, I would say. Uh, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Just copy this whole thing. It's like slightly cute. Uh, it's not the cutest, but lx at zero. Ants equal to ants plus mpow. K m minus one minus base. What are you? So your i times n mod k. Uh, it should work. Why doesn't it work? Um, base is zero and two. Wait, what? How does this work then? Wait, what was my original formula? Wait, now I'm confused. Base i. Wait, what? Then this should still work. Oh, wait, 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 what? No, I don't understand. Oh, um. At I zero. There we go. Now you'll work. Um, and we need to speed you up a bit because you're going to be off by a constant, but whatever. Okay. Um, I forgot what that input was. Damn it. Ah, why? Uh, let's try this. Do work on even at least. 14732. Nah, not at all. Uh, what's up with that? What is up with that? Why are you so close with odd? 3, 5, 100.
69. Is this going to get mod somewhere? No. Is this, what is going on? Why are you wrong, man? Twenty-one one. Okay, there we go. So you're overcounting. Two oh four, two oh five, two oh four. Let's try the other way. <laughs> Let's try the other way. No, okay. Wait, really? Oh yeah, because it wouldn't matter. Wait, okay, why? Um I think it would be N, right? Why are you the same each time? Does that just work? Wait up. There's no way that works. There's no way that works, right? No. There's no way that works, right? There's absolutely no chance that works. I mean, that, that should not be correct. Yeah, okay. Wait, but why does this one not work? So we restrict zero and we restrict five. Restricting zero and we're restricting five. Then we're restricting one and we're restricting six. So restricting one and restricting six is basically saying add one to all of these. Add one to all of these and then you'll be good, right? It's basically saying add one to all of these and then you'll be good. Something's wrong. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aha, I see. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, let me just make this a bit faster.
Okay. Uh, let's test first. So one. Oh 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 oh. What the hell? Probably fireworks. How fast is this? Are you gonna be three seconds? <laughs> <laughs> do we do it? <laughs> do we do it? <laughs> um. This is the biggest thing, so. T is equal to I. T. If T plus plus. Plus plus T is equal to K. Nice. That's faster. <laughs> I guess the, the modding is the biggest part, huh? Cool, yeah. Alright, we'll submit E1 too. Why not? You're gonna work, right? Wrong answer on test 16. The hell? Are we overflowing somewhere? Wrong. I'll explain everything that happened. Those are definitely fireworks. Uh, can you guys hear those, by the way? Yeah, you can definitely hear them. <laughs> you can definitely hear them. <laughs> um, let's run this again. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll explain it after. Um, one, oh, oh. Well, let's save my test case. Okay, count bar. Wait, I can't run that. So four seven three zero three three two eight. What do you mean wrong answer on test sixteen? Like what does that mean? What does it what does that mean? What does that mean philosophically? Gets the same answer. Let's try ninety nine. Four six zero two one one nine two one. It's probably gonna get wrong on this, right? What? How far off is that? Get rid of the freaking PRs, dude. Bro, okay, stop it. Nine two one. I didn't. Why, bro? Stop. Okay, but why are you off by two? Off by two. You're off by two. <laughs> how? How? How are you off by two? That. That's perplexing. I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, that's really strange. What's up with that? If RT plus equals AI times BJ, it's greater than, you're in, you're long long, right? Yeah. If RT plus equals AI times BJ is greater than or equal to M squared, RT minus equals M squared. Plus plus T is equal to K, T is zero. This isn't the problem, right? No, okay. 
Um. That's not the problem, right? No. Vector VL at K. Should you be negative? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Worth a shot. <laughs> um, wait, that makes no sense. Oh, that's why. Um, wait, no, wait, what? What? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this makes no sense, but I'm we're gonna do it. I don't I don't understand. No, actually negative makes sense, but I don't understand why not negative passes so many samples. Cool. This problem makes no sense. How hard is this? Yeah, there are three subtasks. <laughs> it's kind of a weird round. Uh, not that many people solved this, I guess. Hmm. What are the wrong answers? Was there wrong answer 16? No. Okay. I, I don't know what I did to... Yeah, this is one of the only problems with three subtasks, huh? <sighs> there was the dormy one. Were there any others? Uh, questions. Yeah, I'll explain the idea right now. Uh, eight hours stream. No, ten hours. Ten and a half, even. Um, fireworks in the background. Uh, terminal and VS. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I like being able to alt tab. I like it being separate. I like having control over. It. I don't want to have to wait for the IDE to. What the hell. I don't know. I, I I just like the I just like the control that the the most vanilla stuff gives me. Okay, so basically. This problem is at heart a matrix problem. Wait, hang on. Let me let me make sure this negative makes sense. Negative makes sense, right? Because like, yeah. Because if we're adding one to all of them, then what that means is we need to if if we're adding three, then we need to access minus three because the part i is going to be. Index i here. So if we're adding three to everything, right? So if u goes a plus three, then the index is zero here. So i can be the index in negative three in the original area. How did that pass everything? How did that pass the large test? How how wait, how is a negative, like a negative in the logic? <laughs> How is the negative in the logic? Make the answer off by two on the largest possible case. How is that a thing? That that makes no sense. That makes no sense, but okay. All right, all right. Problem done, I guess, cool. So like, basically the general idea is, I mean, the, the problem is you want to, uh, you want to count the number of base k numbers so like numbers where each digit is between 0 and k minus 1 such that there there exists a number on it that's equal to the sum of the rest of the numbers mod k um, in other words there exists an x such that the sum is 2x and x appears at least once in the um, string so to formulate this as a matrix problem, essentially, we need to, I'm, I'm just going to type on the same, I'm just going to type. So this is, this is, this is, this is, this is the most drawing I do in contest. So original problem is to count for e, count arrays such that sum is 2x mod k and they're at least 1x. Um, 
Actually, let's think of it this way. Sum mod k, and there's at least one x over 2. x over 2 is special because like mod 4, um, both 0 over 2 is equal to both 0 and 2, since both 0 plus 0 and 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. So <clears throat> another way to phrase it is count arrays such that sum mod k is x, and there's no x over 2. That's easier. Um, Come on. Count arrays such that some on k is x and there's no x over 2, right? I don't, I don't feel like drawing. There's nothing to draw here, honestly. I can get my tablet, but I don't really want to. Um, so, like, if you know matrices, this should be fairly straightforward. If you have k equals 100, right? Like, this is fairly straightforward to represent as matrix dp. Um, the problem is matrices are slower, and we don't really need it to be a matrix. All we really need is... We need a function um, we need a function such that f of n is equal to is equal to an array where a i is number of arrays. So basically, like, f is going to take in n and x, and it's going to return a count array, where ai is the number of arrays where the sum mod, the number of valid arrays such that the sum mod k is i. No, wait, wait, sorry. Um, yeah, sum mod k is i. Yeah, so ai, so for a given n and some fixed parameter x, let's say, let's put it like this f sub x of n is an array where a i is the number of arrays where sum mod k is i, and there's no x over 2. So we can do binary exponentiation. I can't speak. We can do binary exp exponentiation on this directly. I, why? Why? Why did I try to say that word? Um, <laughs> Freaking red, by the way. Freaking red. Um, you can do that thing on, you can do, you can do binary pow on this array. Like, so like somehow we need to take f of x n and turn it into f of x 2n. And we do this with a convolution basically, where to take with a equals f of x n and b is f of x 2n, we get c is equal to f of x 2n, where we do So this is this is like a convolution basically, right? <clears throat> I don't I don't is this making sense? I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of like an involved problem, like knowledge wise, I guess. <clears throat> but I mean if you're familiar with matrices, like this shouldn't be that much of a that, that much bigger of a step. You're basically we're basically just we're just taking this function and we're we're turning f of x of n into f of x of two n by combining the answers for two f of x's of n's. And we should be able to do this, right? Because we're just taking all possible arrays of length n, combining them with all possible arrays of length n, and just adding their sums together mod k. That's what we're doing. Like for each array, for each possible sum for the left side, for each possible sum for the right side, we add that sum mod k to the total. And we add those number of ways. To whoever asked, I don't know if this makes sense, but um, for the sake of it, sure, right? Then, similar to binary exp, we f of x of n is equal to sum f of x 2 to the k over the 2 to the k where product is, again, this convolution. Um, yeah. So that gives us that. And then, so if we just iterate over x, then that gives us k cubed log n. But we notice that, like, consider, um, 
consider k equals 4, x equals 0, right? Then the, the things that we're allowed to have are 0. We're allowed to have 1 and 3. We're not allowed to have 0, 2. And for k equals 4, x equals 1, we're allowed to have 0, 2, not, um, but not 1 and 3, right? So basically, we're noticing that these numbers are just these numbers but shifted. And if we had something like k equals 8, more general, we'd have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. And if we had k equals 8, x equals 1, uh, 2, we'd be missing 1 and 5. So we'd have 0, 3, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. Or rather, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 0. And we notice that this is just this plus 1. So basically, all the numbers that we're allowed to work with in this, in this x equals 2 are all of these except plus 1. So all we need to do then is to solve this, we just consider this problem, but we add 1 to all the numbers that we're allowed to use, um, which means that we just add n, because each number adds 1 to it. So what we need to do then is access negative n mod k uh, indexing math left to, as an exercise because I screwed it up. So we just a we just access negative n mod k instead of oh yeah, and the answer here is um, uh, f of x n of k. Now x. Right, and we just we just access stop, we just access f of x of n of x minus n x uh, because magic. <laughs> Sorry, n x over two. Yeah, um, math left as an exercise as well, and that's how this problem works. And um, the 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 constant optimizations I did. First things first, the, the, the trick is to get rid of the mod like as much as possible. So the first thing we did is instead of doing RT plus equals AI times BJ, RT mod equals mod. <coughs> right? What we can do is we can instead notice that this is at most mod squared always because AI and BJ are both at most mod. So we can do this with any like matrix transformation actually. We can, my, we can mod. We can we can mod by mod squared inside the big amount of loops, and then at the very end we mod by the actual mod. And the cool thing about modding by n squared is we don't actually need to mod. All we need to do is do like if x is greater than equal to m, x minus equal to m, because we're allowed to do that. Because if we add if we add a number that's at most mod to a number that's at most mod, it'll be at most two times mod, which means we can just subtract once and we'll be fine. Or er, mod minus one, whatever. And the second trick is instead of doing t is equal to i plus j mod k directly, we just we notice that as j goes up, t is going to go up by one, so we just cycle t with this loop. Um, and we do it in such a way that we don't do mod. And so we have no mods anywhere in the convolution, so we're so much faster. Like, literally, like, six times faster. That's how fast it was. OK, cool. Still defeated by doping. Absolutely no idea what to do for that one. Um, but still, again, I maintain under my philosophy, it is OK to fail a problem in practice. Because the goal, anyway, is to get mental exercise so you can get faster. That's the plan. Cool. Um, uh, you can use my template. It's any of my submissions, it's here. And you can just, yeah, if you want to use like this stuff, just go ahead. I, I don't have a copyright on it or anything. What was E2? Or E1? It was like 2200. Hmm, nice. Okay, anything else in chat? Uh, how long did it take me to get good at visualization? Um, I just did it over time. It, it, I, that's a good question. Actually, I didn't really like notice getting better. I just did. I I don't actually know. I I'm not. I wouldn't say I like spawned in being good at it, but like. I don't remember having to get good at it. I think it just did over time. But it was like a some over the years. 
before I noticed it was very good, I suppose. I don't have a concrete answer, sorry. It's thumbnail, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Um, best way to learn STL? I don't know. Probably just using it, like finding use cases for it, doing problems involving it, just getting comfortable with it. Like, like learning by application. That's, that's how I would do it. Yeah, convolution is weird. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's, this problem is, this is not cool. This is not a cool problem. Um, it's kind of not that fun. It's, it's just sort of like just a do it problem, I guess. Like you just have the knowledge and I guess there's that idea. E3 is kind of nice. E1 and E2 are like, actually, I don't know. E2 is like not an idea to see that often. Like it's not the, the matrix. It's like a little bit smarter, I suppose. I find it kind of weird that you can just do that, like the divide and conquer thing. Because I mean, it's like it's the, it's the same as matrix, but it's because it's sum, it's faster. Actually, how does that work? <laughs> like, how does that work? It's because you have a combined function instead of just a. Yeah, it's because you have a combined function instead of just a recurrence. How long are you going to be live? Uh, two more hours, maybe? Dude, I need doping, yeah. Uh, we'll see. Uh, where do I stand on the leaderboard? Uh, in what? Like, rating? I mean, right now, going off this, 2641, where would I be? Like, second page, I guess? Click! What the hell? Yeah, like here. Although my virtual contest rating is like 2880, which is higher. It's like in here. It's not bad. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, we're going to do an ad coder. We're just going to do the first ARC we see. Um, here we go. All right, we have LL already. Take a slight break and I'll be back. We'll finish this off the virtual and then we'll do I don't know, a brief recap. For now, I'll be right back. I need a screen for this, but I'm lazy, so I'll do it later.
Hello? Okay. Um, Alright, so we are doing ARC 149, because that's upcoming. Or, one, no, 169. I'm, I'm high. Um, yes. Okay, cool. We do need more American flags. I'll do my best. Um, <coughs> Alright, wait. Where was that thing with... Uh, Geothermal was talking about something. With the, the act coder things, right? In the virtual standings, you can enable the show ghost option. Okay, I don't want to actually see this. Um, enable the show ghost option. Which will show all the people. Cool. Okay. Um, here we go then. Recursion. Um, there's a lot of it. I'm not sure what that's in reference to. Oh, the OBS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, that goes on um, for a long time. Probably down to a pixel wide. Can I get to number one? Probably not. Probably not number one. Because, like, I don't know. If people are smarter than you and they're younger than you, then they'll always be ahead of you. Which is, like, not strictly true, but it's going to be really hard for me to catch up to, like, Jang Lee at this point. Like, he's still, like, absurdly far ahead of me. And I don't know what how old he is, but he's in college, right? Something like that, so. Is he? I don't know. Whatever. doesn't really matter. It's about my age, so. <sighs> if he does grind, I'll probably get better. And it'll be impossible to catch up. Or, you know, the, the current number one who's going crazy. There are a lot of people who stand to stay better than me. But top ten, I could see that happening. But I'm not going to do that. I don't really want to. I think LGM is a good stopping point. <laughs> so, I, so I say. Yeah, they are really that good. Like, one or two problems ahead of me. I mean, there are people who could solve doping. That problem that I was on for three hours in contest. That does exist. YouTubers are top 10. Either way, it's probably good enough. I mean, there are yeah, a lot of people who like post resources and stuff. Follow for what sense? Okay. Um, I'm going to rename this current task. And that way you can fit a contest too. Okay, here we go. Um, 50. All right, this is the last thing for the day. Uh, fun to watch. I don't think there are that many screencasters anymore. There might be some high quality ones, I'm not sure. I haven't really been paying attention. Uh, if you plan to do this contest, step out now, because I will be streaming it, obviously. I could her ARC169, for reference, the uh, SD1. And I'll do something like that. I need a, I need a, a place in this for the ARCs, but I'll worry about that tonight after this. <coughs> yeah, that's the goal. Motivation, pretty much. Um, tasks. Just um, having someone to hold you accountable. I'm holding myself accountable, but what the hell? Determine whether A1. Uh, that's my, it's just my practice log. It's in the description. It, it marks my virtual contest and stuff like that. I don't, yeah, stuff. How's this work? One is less than or equal to PI is less than I.
Okay, sure. Um, How does this work? Wait. This is kind of weird. Yeah, this is kind of weird, because, like... Do we need to add the derivatives, too? you quadratic by the way please do not spoil anything related to this um, but this is weird This is really weird. What are you? Okay. Like, what are you? Because we could have one, right? And you could have negative one. And you could add here, and you could add here. We could have one here and negative one, right? One, so we could have zero, zero, right? Then we could have you, you add here, you add here, then negative one to here, and one to here. We could have one, one, two, three. That's like a tricky case. Index of P starts at two.
Okay, I see. I see. I see. I see. Um, yeah, child. Child, I will push back. Wait, what? Child. I got pushed back. Um, D plus A B. Why does this not have multi tests? It makes sense to have multi tests. Okay. Um, scene to N, I zero up to N, scene to AI, scene read in the tree, right? DFS zero, zero, right? So ANS is A zero. So for I equals zero, I is less than N, I plus plus. If add I is not equal to zero. So we have these derivatives adding up, right? And this derivative is eventually going to overtake this derivative. Yeah. dfs0, 0, zero at d plus equals av. If add i is not equal to 0, and c equals add i. Ah, uh, yes. OK. I guess we're fine. Submit buttons on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, really? Why? OK. All right. Subsequence with small sums. Even a positive integer s for a sequence of positive integers x, we can find x as follows. Work. <sighs> you're just like code forces. You're gonna make me wait. <laughs> you're given a positive integer s for a sequence of positive integers x. You find f. Okay, thank you. So I can see this, right? Okay, yeah. All right. Um, solve zone B. You're given a positive integer s for a sequence of positive integers x. We define f of x as follows. What is this? Define f of x as follows. Consider decomposing x into several contiguous subsequences. Bro, what the hell? Consider decomposing x into several contiguous subsequences. For each one, the sum of its elements must be at most s. The minimum number of such things in such decomposition is the value of f of x. <coughs> things are positive. Proven that the value of f is always definable. Given a sequence of positive integers a, find, okay, sure. Um, cool. Cool. 33123. Do you want us to lift? I don't understand. Okay, sure. Um, <coughs> okay, we can keep this. What are you, why are you, why are you 250,000?
Um, If we if it wasn't we got a K might even M. If L is greater than zero DPI. pi plus equals i minus l. work. Come on. Wait, what? No, wait. Yeah, okay, wait. What are we doing? Plus equals i plus 1. There we go. Cool. Scene to n to k, i is 0 up to n, scene to ai, r is 0, r plus equals ai, yes, bdpn, it's a 0, i is 0, r is i, while l is less than r, m is 1 plus r over 2, b is less than or equal to k, r equals m, plus l equals m minus plus 1, dpi plus equals dpl minus 1, yes, okay, cool. Why do you make me reselect? Oh, because I didn't freaking. Ugh, god damn it. That's gonna be annoying. <clears throat> okay, you're given an integer n. Let me just sequence. Cool. Virtual standings. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Yeah, okay. Not so consecutive. You're given an integer n. Integer sequence x equals x1 to x and the length n is called good if and only if. Each element of x in okay. Why am I reading? Let's not read. The element of x in integer is not positioning x where i appears i plus one or more times in a row. <coughs> what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Is this? I don't get it. What? Good sequence, if and only if. So each run of length i can be at most length i. So each run of i's can be at most length i. Ah, uh, what's up with that? <coughs> How do we do this then? Um, How does this work? Is 
So we do DPII, right? So we do DPIJ, uh, sequences of length i up to j the ending in j. Then, we iterate over u. So we need dp not j. Um, what do we need? So we need dp not j. Um, we need dp not j. By the way, I'm not going to interact with stream much. I'm kind of focused. Sorry. We need dp not j. Yeah, um, over all things where you can be done. Okay, so. Okay, um, DP 5005. You have like small, big samples? No, not really. So this is weird. Um, another N AI problem. DP zero 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 one. So four I like zero. Um. Five thousand squared times eight times two. That's fine. What I, did I? I freaking closed Chrome. No, I didn't. I saved it. Thank you. Uh, freaking red, by the way. <laughs> uh, LPS. This is weird. Do I need to like... Why are these ARC problems? I don't, I don't get it. I guess they need some fodder, but this is not the coolest of things to be doing with my life. Um, <coughs> targ is equal to negative. So, 4 LJ is 0, J is less than N, J plus plus. If a j 
No, what am I? I. If AJ is not equal to negative one. If Targ is not equal to negative one. Targ is not equal to negative one. If Targ is not equal to AJ, Targ is equal to negative two. If targ is equal to negative one or targ is equal to aj. Hmm. Ugh, stop it. What do you, what, do you, what? Okay, fine. Um, well, L is zero. One R is equal to N. Okay, I see. So if AJ is not equal to negative one, while L is less than AJ. Um, DP I uh, L is equal to PS PT I PT I Prive minus PS I L. What is this? Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, it's PS I. No, it's I minus one, isn't it? Yeah, let's do this. I plus one L. So you go to prev minus PSIL minus PSIJ, JL, is it? Are you right? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if it works on samples. L is equal to L is equal to J minus I plus one. Now I minus J. Let me do the same thing. We don't need PT. Four L J is equal to one. J is equal to n. J plus plus pre is equal to pre plus d p i plus one. J mod mod. C out. Okay. Stop it! Stop opening things! Jesus. Six. Um. Any chance you're double the answer? <laughs> Wait, no. There's no way you're six. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no chance. Um. Why is six? P R I J L R. Um,
Are you gonna do this twice? No, okay. Um, PRI pre. So pre should be two at this point, right? Yeah, pre should be two. No, we do need tote. Prev. PT. What are you? J? Let's see. Two. Uh, why are you one? I J L R. Oh yeah, that's fine. Um. <laughs> That's rough. DP I plus one one is two. What is going on? What is going on? Come on. DPI plus one, one is two. Wait. No. Because you can go up to here. Wait. No. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, it's actually correct, but no, it's not. You should be one, you should be one. Now this is wrong, but that's fine. Um, they shouldn't be two, right? Oh, because I didn't, wait.
Why are you 37? Okay, I mean, this makes sense. Why are you 37, though? How are you 4? I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Oh, I see. No, you should not be that. <laughs> you should be PSJR. How do you have two possibilities? That actually works. No, that doesn't exactly work. Why do they not exactly work? How are you four? How are you four? How how is three four? Don't understand that. P R I J L R L. Live now? If L is less than or equal to R and L is I minus J plus one. So this is the issue? No, 
What's the issue? This was the issue. Okay. That was less than AJ, right? Finally. Jesus. Okay. Scene to N. Scene to AI. Previous one. Point zero is one. Target is negative one. Zero R is N. P is point J. While L is less than AJ. Yeah. R is greater than AJ. L is less than equal to AR. L is equal to minus J. Yeah. Same code, pretty much. L is less than equal to R. Same thing. Prev is prev plus dpi plus 1j. Yeah, this should work. Okay. I had to make a permutation. What is with 250,000? Work. That was slow. That was very slow. Yeah. Okay. What else solves? D. D S solves. Yeah. Okay. That was slow and painful. Ugh. Okay. Maybe don't rush into indexing like that. Give an integer seek. Okay, wait, what are the points? 900. 900. Okay. Give an integer sequence a1. a equals a1 a to n of length n. Which element of a is an integer. Choose exactly m elements from a. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey. I see. Mm -hmm. All right. Give me into sequence A. Like that, which element of A is an energy between zero and minus one equals a. Choose exactly m elements from A, then increase the value of each chosen element by one. Is it gonna? It's telling me. Yeah. Okay. Add to make a permutation. Increase the value of each chosen element by one. Now each sum elements have the values of n. Change those values to zero. Right. So we cycle mod n. Um, This is harder than other things. Choose exactly m elements from a, then increase the value of each chosen element by one. Now some elements have the value of n, change those values to zero. 
<laughs> so no two elements will be the same. So consider the elements that are the same, right? Why does this need 10 operations? Or 50, yeah, 10. Consider two elements that are the same, right? So I'm gonna do zero, one, two, two, right? <sighs> so I mean, we consider like the blocks of elements, right? Um, feels like greedy should work, but no idea. in a weird cyclic fashion. So like, I consider everything is zero, right? So here, we shouldn't, should we ever leave a spot open? So like we have zero, one, one, right? <coughs> Greedy, right? So consider we have like zero, zero, one, right? So consider we have blocks of such. It's so like in one move, we can pick some elements and drag them over to the next block. Um, In what manner should we do so, right? I mean, suppose we can binary search or something, right? Suppose we wanted to binary search, right? So we have these like groups. Um, In the ideal state, you're going to need to be spread out. In the ideal state, you're going to need to be spread out, right? It has to be exactly one. And then what, 
what? This is like parody to me. What's up with this? Uh... What the hell? Okay. No, it's not. Um, 2015, right? 5, 14, 18, 0, 8, 5, 0. All right, so here we are. Okay. The binary sets in the number of operations, right? Well, actually, no. No, because because having more operations could screw us over. Once we have a permutation, an operation will screw it up. Yeah. Once we have a permutation, an operation will screw it up. We don't necessarily want to do that. So, I mean, we can do this and move everything else out, right? We do this and move everything else out. Um, what's up with that? What's with negative one? Uh, that's so weird. It's weird that that exists. We can set the biggest block, right? It's not that simple, is it? It's just not that simple. Which is exactly the other one from A. I mean, dragging elements around like this of blocks is like the way to move. Wait, what? What, what, what? Ugh. It's like the move, not the way to move. Nobody, that's not how you say that. <sighs> so zero, one, one, right? So then we have one, one, one. Yeah, inevitably we have this state. Hmm. Um, we can assume that m is at most n over 2. That actually seems important. Yeah, that seems important. Um, okay, so now we have a smaller M, right? So we're forced to do less. So actually now this makes sense. Now it makes sense why we'd have to do this. So M is at most N over two. Um, Given that, this should be easier. Not necessarily, right? It, it does make sense of this, though. Zero, zero, one, two. 
Right. So take two elements and add two to them. Take two elements and subtract one from them. Take two elements and add two to them. I take two elements and subtract one from them. Right? I want two. Why do we use the fact that m is at most a number two? What do we do with that? Well, what does it mean for this? Like, what does it mean for this? If we have We have um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, right? We have n equals 2. We can't move this up ever. Well, we can, but. Zero, one, two, three, three, right? Moving into this, moving to this. What are we doing? What are we drawing right now? One, two, four, four. Sure. Um, zero, one, three, four, zero. One, two, three, four, zero. Okay, that works. Sure. Uh, it works sometimes. But parity issues, right? like to move the entire thing down, right? There should be some barrier that we never cross. Should there be? No, not necessarily, right? No. Well, wait, no. That's not true. Yeah, that's not true. No operations ever be more than n. It shouldn't be, right? By all means, it shouldn't be, but maybe it will be. Maybe it will be, because why not? Right, why not? Why not be more than n? Give me integer sequence a equals a1 to n of length n. The element of a is an integer between 0 and minus 1 inclusive. To perform the following operations one more time, let's choose exactly one of these right now. Minimum number of, how do we even do yes no? All right. I mean, both would require some insight into the problem, but. So with the first operation, right? Like we have some groups of ones.
These guys still need to move k times, eh. So are we ever going to move elements out of the way? I mean, sometimes we have to, but do we ever want to, right? I mean, doing this is equivalent to doing this. Do we ever want to move elements out of the way like that? ever want to move elements out of the way like that? Do we ever want to move elements out of the way like that, man? <laughs> Do we? ever want to move elements out of the way? 0, 1, 2, right? When do we want to move elements out of the way? I mean, sometimes we have to, right? Consider a chain like this, right? Are our moves forced? <laughs> Can we force moves? Can we make our moves forced? That is a question to be asked. moves forced. So if I mean it's one, right? Then like stuff. We can assume that M is small. Like not too big. And given that, right? Zero, one, two, two, right? Zero, one, 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 two, one, one, zero, two, one, two, one, one, zero, two. This doesn't make sense. This doesn't like, what's with this?
should have gone with two other factions. Goals make a permutation of zero, one that you understand. Tell me if the goal is achievable. If it is, find the minimum number of operations required. the value of the chosen one by one. And I saw that's how the value is of A, change those values to zero. The goal is to make A a permutation of zero that you understand. Yes. Statement's clean at the very least. That's how that coder works. Three two zero one one. Five two zero four two three ten. This is hard. <laughs> Say that, this is hard. Strange problem. It's very accurate. Makes sense. Can we find some like weight function? <laughs> some like something? Some some variant? I mean, do we want to group the elements together? We would, right? Would we want to group the elements together? Mm -hmm. We want to leave you behind. Because we might as well. Yeah, once we have like one, we might as well leave you behind. to intentionally bunch. Hmm. From a simulation. I feel like it's simulatable, it's just like hard. Can the answer be enormous? The answer can't be that big, right? Answer cannot be that big. <laughs> the 
answer cannot be that big, right? Cannot be that big. I just, I just cannot. I don't believe it. I don't believe the answer would be that big. Zero, one, one, right? So n is big. Um, n is big, which makes it weird. Three, two, zero, one, one, right? Three, two, zero, one, one. So we need to like, three, two, zero, one, one. I mean, we need to move the ends. We might as well move the ends. All of you will need to be moved. So we might as well move you. So yeah, so this is forced. Um, this is very forced. It's like if all of you are like this, right? Then that's fine. Okay, let's um, write a brute force and then a slow solution, like an n squared, and then a fast solution. Okay, so c and n to n. Just come on.
plus plus R J. R J is equal to N. R J is equal to It's not going to run on this, but yeah. All right. see if that ever finishes. Um, Close it down. Um. Okay. So four L T is zero, T is less than two T X plus. If AI is equal to one, and BI is equal to zero. is equal to 1, and bi is equal to 0, and r is greater than 0. ai, yeah. Plus plus bv, minus minus ai.
still running. Uh, dumb. Why? Um, yeah. Four i plus zero minus seven i plus plus b i plus equals. <sighs> Great. Okay, well, like, let's try this. Okay, this is a bug, so it's fine. Um... This is a bug. Where are we? One one two zero, right? One one zero two one. So we want to move you here. And we'd rather move you out. Why are we not moving you out? Good. Okay. So this works on um, this works in n squared, but it works. So I need to figure out how to do this smartly. Actually, let's um, cert done a something smart.
that one. Wait, so this could be one, two, one, one, zero. No. So we can't do arbitrary ones, right? Maybe this first. Okay. Stop printing. <laughs> um. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Mod seven plus two. Damn. Stupid. Um, wait. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. I see. Sure. No, nope. damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, that doesn't work, does it? God, okay, okay, okay. We need, we need to stop fooling around like this. Um, And it says values to zero. The goal is to make a permutation of zero, one, day and minus one. Determine if the goal is achievable. If so, find the minimum number of operations required.
Okay, like... <sighs> why, 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 why? It's like, what we ultimately need to do is... Okay, um... <laughs> okay, <laughs> this could work. <laughs> this could work. Um, min R1. <laughs> okay, still doesn't work? So, I mean, I want to move you. Wait, why did I move all of you? Wait, why did I create that gap? Wait, that's not supposed to happen. Wait up. Wait, that's that's a bug. Three. Why did it create that gap? It says three, one, right? Why to create that gap? So we move you out, right? Three one zero one 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 zero. So move you out, right? They move you out. I need to do this again, right? Wait, do we? Wait, 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 what's the issue? No, we do need to create this gap, okay. Wait, do we? Wait, how do we do this in three?
Yeah, okay. <laughs> Be that way. How do you do this in two? What? Do that, do that. Okay. All right, this is impossible. Um, this, this is not going to work. Okay, I'm, I'm getting destroyed. Um, this is great. Okay, Jesus. Ugh. All right, how do we, how do we, how do we figure this out? This problem is hard, I will say. Like, very hard. How many souls does this have? Wait, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Virtual stings. Okay, yikes. <laughs> this is a, <laughs> this is a hard problem. Um, not good at hard outcoded problems. Uh, Given the integer sequence a, is a one to a n point n. So one of a is an integer between zero and minus one. Following the following operation, zero more times. Choose exactly m elements. How many salt? Forty one. Yeah, this is, is kind of hard. <laughs> it's kind of hard. What's that? I coded 2800. I'm not ready for those yet, man. Why do I have to be slow on um, C? Ugh, okay. I mean, we'll try this for the rest of the time, but I don't have that much hope. We are, we're, I, I have nothing on this. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I just, I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I, I have nothing on this problem so far, pretty much. <sighs> Given an integer sequence. This is so weird. I, like... Okay, like, this is stupid. What I'm doing here is stupid. You should not do this. You should not run things against stress tests and hope they work. You should <laughs> actually solve problems. You should, you should actually solve problems. It's a good idea to actually do that. Don't um, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, I guess. I'm <laughs> giving the initial sequence A. Like that. It's just so weird. Like, how many people are solving this? Eh, okay. We'll try it, but I need, I need to I need to reflect on C what took so long with that. Um <clears throat> I oh I know what took so long, but yeah, cool. Given the integer sequence A at length n, which element of A is an integer between zero and minus one inclusive. Increase the value of each chosen element by one. Now some elements have values of n, change those values to zero. Have the values of n change those values to zero. Tell me if the goal is achievable. No, that's not gonna. I mean, the, 
the forced M makes it weird. Like the forced M makes it so weird. It's like we could like slide through and determine the number of ops we need to Gonna be some guys that overwhelm their gaps, or possibly not. There may or may not be some guys that overwhelm their gaps, right? If there are some guys that overwhelm their gaps, then you need to like slide the rest of you over as well. Like, okay, fix a gap, fix an endpoint, let's say. Fix an endpoint, and then try and do everything relative to that. Fix an endpoint and try and do everything relative to that, right? <coughs> we can do this. This is kind of a little bit like that Yusuko problem. It's a little bit like that Yusuko problem, where we, um, we, we do a thing, where we sort of slide you over. Up most of them to be easy. Right. Do at most M, it would be so much easier, but no. I mean, that's the point. That some things are forced. Right, so we have some things that are forced, and you're going to move circularly like this. You're going to move circularly, right? Any shapes doesn't even work. It's just like arbitrary decisions have to be made.
achieve the goal with fewer than two operations. Yes. Well, there's a chance that this is super clean to implement. But, I don't know. If we, I mean, you must move at least this far. If we determine that this has to move out of the way, then this must move at least this far. Can we use the M thing? We should be able to use the M thing, right? Use the M thing. Right? Like, can we use that? Can we take advantage of it? We should be able to take advantage of that. Should be able to take advantage of that, right? Somehow, some way, right? We're going to slide you over. going to slide you over, right? You're going to move over here. We don't need to move an overwhelming number of you over. <sighs> what do we need to do? to do what do we need to do what do we need to do we need to slide you over Should be able to lock some things over, right? Yeah. 
know, something like that, right? So it always like it always converges to a state where we have like something like this. It's always going to converge to a state like this. Is it, is it always going to become like one zero one two and a bunch of ones? If we could like quickly collapse the state to become that, like the problem here is that we're collapsing it wrong. How do we collapse the state? How do we do that? I don't have enough time. <laughs> I don't have enough time to work it out. <sighs> okay, I probably wasted some time doing um, stupid shenanigans, trying to understand the collapsing behavior, but whatever. Let's turn the other one. Yeah, look at it a bit more. time to solve this. Maybe we'll um, up solve it later, I guess. <sighs> All right, that's the contest. Let's see how we did at the end, I guess. So, what have I missed from chat? Uh... Maybe we'll upsell this later. Yeah, I don't know what we'll do with this, but I don't really want to think about it more right now. How to know? I'll uh, we'll save this. So. Okay, so people wanted a recap. I suppose we can do that. Great. Okay. Uh, good. Um, all right. So, start off with this one. Um, no, not this one. Start off with this one. Um, we basically made a guess that was pretty, pretty, um, it made sense, I suppose. And it worked, so take it. 
this did work, right? Like, there's no like stupid. Um, I I don't think there's a point in going over solutions since these are thirty two hundreds, but like, yeah, this one this one wasn't bad. How long did that one take? Like an uh, hour thirteen. That's fine. This one took longer. This one took like two and a half. Yeah, makes it a thirty two hundred. Um, yeah, this one was hard. I will say. Yeah. Um, because I guess it was a it was a bunch. It was multiple steps, and all of them were hard. That was the step that you get. Um. The. I mean, just the f the reason that the the parity setup matters, and then. The um, the formalization, the NQ solution, where you kind of this can be made faster. This doesn't have to be close to the time limit. Like I can, I can coordinate compress faster. I can set this log to eighteen. There's some stuff I can do to make this faster, but it's fine enough as is. Yeah, it is very close to the time limit. Yeah, and then there was the part where I I I still don't know if this is actually I still don't know what this complexity is like if it's q n q log n q log squared something, um, q log m I guess doesn't really matter passes <laughs> it's all that matters but I I have faith in it and then um, doping we got destroyed by I I don't have comments on that 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 was the problem I spent like three hours on um three and a half even. I still don't know. I don't really have anything for it other than the uncubed. It's freaking hard. I mean, it's in my weak areas, so I'm not going to make excuses, but it is a bit expected for a 3300 to do that to me. Though I will aim for it to not in the future. And this this one was stupid. <laughs> this is this is just a a, a a meme to make myself feel better. That was the plan. When is this over? Um, I need to look at C because C bothered me. Like what I need to not do is what I did on this problem, which is to <laughs> to guess the indexing and then adjust it until it passes samples. Um. That that I, I've tried to do that before, and it's just like, it's not faster. It's it's just not worth doing. It, it makes sense to just get it right the first time, you know. Um. So that cost me some time. That I would have rather had. And then I don't know what's up with that D. That's just hard. It's like twenty seven hundred something. Yeah. Ugh, but I don't know what to expect from AdCoder, honestly. It's like, did you really not solve this? Dang. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this. It's just hard. Weird, weird and hard. And I feel like I feel like you could. Eh, I don't know. It feels doable. I just I don't know how to do it. That's where I'm at with it. I suppose. That's cool. What is this? Twenty-five ninety-four. Twenty-five eighty-nine. Yeah. I mean. This is what, 20, this would be like 2800 CF. That's a shame. I need to do better on the ad coders. Well, I don't know, actually. I mean, like, these guys are LGMs. I don't, what is, what is the ad coder rating translation? Because, like, is there one? Or is it just, like, a completely different game? Because, I mean, 2800's, like, top 100, right? Top 100 is 2828. What is that in code forces? 
top 100 is 28.53. So, I mean, well, but this is all time. Yeah, that's all time. Like, what's, um, oh. Yeah, all time CF top 100 is LGM, actually. Okay, that, that makes this make more sense. Because I know there are LGMs who struggle to break the red barrier from ARCs. I guess it's just like that. Still getting a hundredth is not ideal. I mean, that'd be bad on code forces. Hmm. That's true. What a hundred be on code forces? I mean, it'd be better, right? Close a hundredth on this. Maybe better. It'd be like 2800, right? Yeah. Which, I mean, is not the best for my goals, but whatever. Are we? Where are we? What was I looking at? This one. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about how I did on this round, but <laughs> just looking at the standings. Yeah, 2700, 2800. Okay, so it's a little bit harder on that coder, I guess. Yeah. All right, cool. Anything else to talk about? Do better tomorrow. That's the plan. Yeah, this is hard. You see, you have some like cyclic stuff going on and it's like weird. I'm not gonna have any expectations for Echoder yet. This is a different problem style. Um, okay, plan. Tomorrow, I'm not going to be on this channel. I'm going to be on a new channel because I don't want to pollute th my old channel with. Um, I don't want to pollute my old channel with everything. So, new channel will be here. And yes, I'm pretty much doing it every day. How far behind? Oh. Okay. So, um, okay, that worked. Yeah, so I'm going to be on a new channel for the rest of these streams. I'm going to do it every day except Sundays. We'll see, we'll see how long they last. I'll try and go the whole winter break. I'll, I'll hold myself to it. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing this for a while. Um, and if you want notifications or if you want to talk to me like after, like right now, join this. Because, like, I will, um, I will, what? Wait. I will. I will post things, for example, here. Yeah. So you'll get, a, you'll get a ping pretty much every, um, stream. That's the plan. Yeah, the new channel is just for this so far. Just for this, um, initiative. So yeah, join the Discord, uh, subscribe here. You can hit the bell if you want, because that'll, um, I'm not gonna do that, but you can do that and it'll actually like give you the notification here instead of not, yeah. Okay, if you have questions, I'm not gonna, if you have questions, talk to me on Discord. I'm not gonna speak anymore, I think that's been enough. Um, yeah, cool. I think I'll leave that for now. So, see ya.